certain there will be shenanigans and craziness. live show number 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 like this yes 10 like this <laughs> and we've done two on facebook and eight on instagram well, this is the eighth thank you for joining us my name is rusty james and we are throwing stones this is our 20th year in business and we have Two really amazing Etsy shops. If you haven't been there, please go check them out. Uh, Throwing Stones and Crystal Shops USA. Uh, both are very prestigious, high-ranking shops. Uh, we ship seven days a week, and we have a big team that is here to support and help you. Uh, we are very fast to get things out the door, and we look forward to serving you. We are a service-to-others-based company. Uh, we see profit as a byproduct of our purpose, which is to be in service to you, as well as to the mineral kingdom. Uh, we started our business studying yoga in Rishikesh in northern India in 2001. Uh, we just didn't know much about stones, and we fell in love with stones. All of a sudden, we were the stones dragged us into the industry and showed us the way and they continue to do so. Um, I've become very adept at listening to the stones and having them lead the way and guide me and they've never done me wrong. Um, there's lots of people to listen to out there and there's lots of great sources of information and I have a lot of go-to places that I do trust and gather information from just in terms of all amounts of information and knowledge but the stones themselves have never let me down even when they've uh, led me into quote-unquote bad decisions they are always a silver lining and there's been lots of lessons and I've learned to trust them and they continue to light the path and show the way so we get stones from all over the planet. Every single day I get offers from lots of different people. We have manufacturing facilities in many different countries. We support artisanal mining in many different countries, which is the last truly sovereign act on the planet. Maybe not the last one, but definitely one of the last truly sovereign acts is to dig stones with your bare hands out of the ground to support yourself. And we have... Uh, done a lot of work to support artisanal mining communities all over the world, particularly in poverty-stricken areas. Anyhow, that's enough about us. I'm sure a lot of you that have been here have heard all that before, and if you haven't, um, welcome. Please stick around, and without further ado, I will turn the camera around, and we're going to show you some pretty awesome stones tonight. And we're going to start with my pinned comment here. I think it, it like pauses me. There is pause. Where is it? Why is it not right pasting? Here. It's back. Why is it not pasting my comment? That's really frustrating. Uh, anyways, we're going to go right into it. I really should go back and paste that comment. I thought it was on my... Um, I'll just rewrite it. To claim... Type skew and price. Uh, shipping starts at $5 domestic USA and 14 international. And that's good enough. All right. Thanks for being patient with me there. Here's our flowers. And we are gonna to start tonight with, what are these called again? These are, uh, didn't it have a name? It was uh, caramel, was it caramel quartz? This is some 
caramel quartz. It's got phantoms all the way up and down it. It's from Madagascar. Uh, you can see how nice and bright they are. This is not very common material. And I think this came out a couple of years ago. And so we've got a couple of these to show you. Papaya. Papaya quartz, that's right. It's papaya quartz. So this one is $25. And everything ends up being put there, and we will go back over them if need be. Did you say where they're from? Uh, Madagascar. Madagascar. Here's another papaya quartz. Look, it's got orangish yellow. It's got a phantom that goes all the way from the bottom to the top. And that one is somewhat double terminated. And it's got this little nice little growth thingy on the side here. It's got like a red line in addition to the orangey pineapple-y stuff. And it's got some little other inclusions in there too. Pretty neat stuff. Really awesome quartz. I got five of these to show you tonight. This is the second one. This one is $20. And next up, here's another one. It's got a little double at the top. Really nice material. Yes, I do have new Ahoites to show you. Purple Ipsissimus. <laughs> um, I priced out some new ones for this show specifically. So we have some new Ahoites. We have some new Moldavite. We've got some Phenakite. We got some new type of witch's fingers and a handful of other things. Anyhow, this is Papaya Quartz number 1485. This one is $25. Look at that, it's got some green balls up in there. And green balls. Hello, Mr. Bill Carlucci. It's good to see you, my friend. Very, very nice to see you. Very nice to see everybody here. We are very happy to have you here on this Rolling Stones Live. Number 10. This one is going to be a good one, I promise. We have some new rocks for you to see. Some things we just unpacked last few days. We did live show on Friday. We did special live show where we discount everything that we already show but tonight everything is new everything is new so look this is about uh, four fingers long like this this is a papaya quartz from the madagascar this one is a certified dollar 1486 is the is the special code we use for this piece here this is very very good piece i uh, already i'm talking crazy only five minutes in oh my god what is happening Okay, and one more papaya quartz to show you. Check it out. Check it out. This is like a twin here. See all that juiciness? And it's got like, it's like a little family. <laughs> it's like a little family of quartz that going on in there. It's like, hi, I'm a family of quartz. All in one piece. I got three kids. Look, I'm hiding one. There's one in the oven. <laughs> It's like two that popped out the yeah, side here, and then there's one in the oven, and not, oh, and there that one we, that one was miscarriage. <laughs> that one was just we leave it there for, for hope, and for for strength. Look at that that phantom there. It goes only in a one crystal. That's kind of neat. That crossover in a two right in there. That's pretty cool. And then we got here. That's like a twin. They call that like a hand. call that a tantric twin. It's like a hand, you know. Like except there's not a thing. Maybe that's a thumb right in there. And that sure is pretty. Papaya quartz, I just want to eat it. It looks like a piece of fruit. Except it's hard, like a rock. So don't want to eat it. But for y'all's y'all didn't know last time we had a show. If you didn't if you weren't if you weren't there on Facebook, we're gonna start this new program we got going on where if you don't know how to eat rocks, you're gonna have to learn how to eat rocks because that way you don't have to buy any food and you can spend more money on rocks because you can eat them and i'm going to teach you how to live on breath you know because if you just live on breath then you don't need to buy any food 
and then you can buy more rocks. This is a great program we've got going on. We're going to teach you all the good stuff about how to do that. Uh, all you got to do is breathe, and you don't need to eat nothing. You just need to buy rocks, okay? Rocks is good for you. So it's the best thing going on right now is just removing rocks. All right, what's this? Anybody know? This there is that crazy rock from TikTok. It makes you go crazy. It'll destroy your life and everything. You know, it looks like it'll make you dream and, and it'll make all your manifestation stuff come true and and it'll make you crazy and, and it'll make you go viral. That there that there's Moldervite from the Czechoslovakia. That's perfect. That there that's a cut molder vlight molder molder vite. And see there, that's natural. And we promise that all of our Manolda Manolda Vite is natural. I've been buying directly from the Czech Republic since 2003. And we've got really good relationships in there. And them the Czech, Czech Republic. Anyways, that one there is L1443. That is $110. And it can be yours. If you would like it, you just got to put that little number in there and say, oh, I want it, and then we'll get it for you, and you can have it, and we'll ship it, and it'll be like, awesome. Oh, look, it's Sherman. Hi, Sherman. Thank you for joining us. I was hoping you would join us because you're awesome, and all the rest of you are awesome too. Um, yeah, so thank you for being here. Look, look at that. That is the best little thingy going on in there. It's like the little thingies in there you know it's very technical term it's got grooves and lecatellierites and bubbles and things and that's a beautiful little rock there we we cut it ourselves except i didn't cut it my my cutters cut it and we hope that you like it it's definitely guaranteed to be natural moldavite because we know what we're doing and there's plenty of people out there who want to say, oh, my God, that's a fake Moldavite. What are you doing? You don't know what you're doing because I looked at like 14 pictures on the Internet and I'm an expert now and you're selling fake Moldavite. And you know what I have to say to that? You don't know if you're talking about and you've only seen 14 pictures, you've got to stop doing it because like at least once a week, somebody's like, that's fake. Oh, what are you going to do? I'm like, no, it's not fake. I know what I'm doing. I've got really good relationships. And you can't fool me because I'm really tied into all the Moldavite community. And all I've got to do is just show my buddies and be like, what do you think of this? And they'd be like, no, that one's real. Yeah, they don't know what they're talking about. And, you know, we have this little group together and everybody knows how to spot the fakes. And, you know, there's at least like 25% of the fake pictures online from my travels. I go all over the place and I just took pictures of some fake ones. And I was like, hey, look at what they're doing. They're making fake Moldavite. That sucks. But this is real, I promise. If you decide that you don't like it because you think it's fake, if you buy it, then we'll take it back because somebody else will buy it because I guarantee it's natural. That one's $65. You can make a really nice piece of jewelry out of it. It makes somebody happy. It might ruin their life, but it also might change their life for the better. You might be like, oh, look, you've got this mold of art for your girlfriend, and your girlfriend will be like, wow, you need to marry me. Can you turn that into a ring? That would be sweet. Anyways, for those of you just joining us, um, yeah, we tend to get a little crazy around here, and yeah, I don't really know what to say. I mean, I'm, I could apologize, but I don't really know if I should. All right, look at there. That air is like deep. That's deep, you know, like that's fifth dimensional mold of height right there. You see how deep that is? Look, that's because it's got this thingy on here. It's got them extra mold of height on the top, and it's like, like the abyss. It's like going down in the cavern in there. It's purdy. It's got them little lines and let cotillerites and all that good jazz. And that there's purdy little moldavite. It's ready to go into one of your jewelry projects. And we can't set it for you right now, but if you buy it, you can find somebody to set it for you. That one there, that one's $100. 14 46 We appreciate y'all here. Appreciate y'all sticking around. We got some Ahawite to show you later, not too long from now. And let's see what else we got. We got a couple more of these cut Moldavites. And we're just, let's see who's going to get us started tonight. Who's going to be the lucky one to get us started tonight? Look at that. It's like worms got in there and ate it all up and the sides, and it's like cool. 
Mm -hmm. it's when you the, the polish ones are cool because when you dome it like that it makes it so that it's like magnified and it shows the other side really cool it's Very like cool. it's neat and the camera makes it really like good to see it's cool so you know it's like it's cool more divide it's from outer space space glass it like make you go to the 14th dimension but you know you got you can't skip the other ones you got to go through the other ones first and that's the best part about Moldavai is it'll just blast you through them all. And you could be like, I'm going to ascend now because I have this Moldavai. You know, the world's going to shit. But if you have Moldavai, everything's going to be all right. You know, like Bob Marley said, little everything's going to be all right. If you have Moldavai, don't worry about the thing. Because every little Moldavai is going to be all right. Yes, look at the bubbles in here. There is many bubbles. It's like so many bubbles. It's it's like a like a sparkling water inside the Moldavite. <laughs> it's very nice, and it has some thingies on the other side. Yes, L. I see an L, but I don't see anything else. Giselle, I think you are trying to say L, something. Let us see. This is another good good Moldavite. Very nice, very good quality. Yes, thank you. Thank you, my friends, very much. Thank you for being here. That's all the cut Moldavite that I have to show you at the moment. There's six pieces, and then there's some papaya quartz there that we showed. It's very good. And then I've got four big pieces of Moldavite. These are kind of expensive, but they've got a little bit of damage, so they're not crazy expensive because if they were undamaged then they would be really expensive but we're going to show them anyways because it's what we've got and that's what i put together today so this is a big big long one look it's like five centimeters or something which is two inches for those of you in america who can't do the metric system it's all right we don't blame you you know the metric system is much better than what we use, but it's, you know, you got to learn. Everybody's got to learn. We've got to get rid of this other system that we use because it doesn't make any sense. And see, look, it's got a damage there. So I'm being upfront with you so you know what you're looking at and I'm not trying to pull the wool over you at all. Here's another piece a little bit there and the price is reflected on that because if it was not damaged, this would be like $4 million because Moldavite's like the most expensive rock anybody's ever seen now because of, it's all because of TikTok, you know. Actually, it's not, it's because of the Czech government. They haven't lit, given any more mining claims and they're cracking down on artisanal mining, which makes us cry because artisanal miners are the best. They're the ones that get you things that you don't have to have big commercial mines. But sometimes they cause the shit and they stir it up and they don't reclaim the area and they don't like fill in their holes and stuff and so they make a mess. It's a good one. It's five hundred dollars. It would probably be a thousand dollars if it was not a little bit buggered. But you can make something out of it. You can make a really nice pendant and it could also I, I had to sit aside to be carved so if nobody buys it, maybe I'll carve it or something. I'll send it to my friend. We can make Pickle Rick. That's the perfect rock for Pickle Rick right there. Mm. So you could just pretend that it's carved into Pickle Rick right there. And if you like it, you could buy it. It's $500. So we appreciate you being here and looking. Thank you very much, my friends. See a bunch of new faces here tonight, and we're happy to have you. Yes, new faces are very good. This is another very nice Moldavite, you see? It has all of the thingies in, in the, the outside, this, uh, the thingies, you know, this is the pattern, what we call it. It has a little bit here, a little bit here, and prices reflecting those things and look it has like moon moon craters like it landed on the moon and then it said oh i don't like the moon i'm coming here now fly to earth where there is people there and they will they will say oh we love you but maybe actually the people on the moon they didn't like it because they were like we're stuck here it's prison on this moon i mean go you should go leave while you can all right all right all right stop being crazy i swear okay so that one 
is like that big and it's nice and thick you could make it could definitely be carved which is what i'm going to do with it if you don't buy it which is totally good if you don't buy it it's not a problem it's going to turn into a nice carving it'll probably be like a, an, an alien face or something and it'll be really cool so you know if you don't want to buy it that's all right but it's 330 dollars for that one and it's beautiful it's got really good energy just like all of you do at least i hope you do we don't really know because you haven't said anything so we don't know if you've got good energy or not but if you're here i'm sure you're you've got good energy or if you if you don't right now you probably will by the end of the show and i hope you stick around because you know we get a little bit funny in here and we get a little crazy we play a little music and you know we talk some stuff we we sometimes speak a little bit about the truth and sometimes we just, you know, make fun of people too. So stick around. It's always a good thing. You know, stick it out to the end because it's going to be Ahoite and Papagoite is coming up next. So if you like Moldavite, you can buy one of these too. And if you don't like Moldavite, that's totally cool too. Fourteen forty one, three hundred dollars That's not bad for 12 grand piece. It's pretty good. It's nice and big. It's got one of these little, you know, it's got that. There's a little bit of blemish there, but just that one. It's got little bubbles on the bottom. That's also going to make a nice carving. It's got a little bit of a curve like some Moldavites do because it flies through the atmosphere like this. And it gets pulled back like this. And it's like, you know, so that's like what happens when it flies in. It just flies in like this and it's like... And it looks like a mouth. It's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm going to stop being stupid. And I'm going to put this down. And I've got one more big mold of eye to show you. And then the party really starts. Because that's when the copper silicates come out. And when the copper silicates come out, everybody gets crazy. The party just ticks up a notch. It's like somebody puts on... Uh, the funk music and everybody just starts dancing and that's what happens when the copper silicates come out when the moldavite comes out everyone's like <gasps> oh shh be quiet we have to meditate because moldavite's good for meditation look at that it's like this deep groove in here it's got a little thingy it's it's got a spiral see that spiral that's pretty cool it's like a it's like a six or like an e or like a something it's like a little ammonite in there it's beautiful. I don't know how that formed, but it's like it flew through the air and came into the atmosphere. It's got a little bit of problem right there, but that's the backside. You could totally just cap that and make a nice piece of jewellery. Alley Cat, hello. Thank you for coming. Did you bring my straight jacket? Because I need it tonight. We missed you. You know, we've been having shows without any supervision, and it's, it's a problem because I get a little bit carried away and it's getting kind of old and we need somebody to come in here and take care of me so i'm glad you're here i hope you brought the the crutches for my mouth because i need them it's all right don't worry liz kern thank you for joining we've got ahoy that you might like along with everybody else everybody likes ahoy everybody likes ahoy You've not been in one of my lives for a while. Shame on you. <laughs> what are you thinking? We missed you so terribly much. The lives have not been very good without you. We don't, I don't know what to do with myself. You have a rose quartz straight jacket. Oh, that's good. That means I can be, I can be mean because rose quartz will make me nicer. All right, all right. So we're going to put that here. If you guys want to see any of that again, I'll put it in the background right next to the flowers. See that? There's, look, there's thingies in there. There's flowers. It's pretty. All right, all right, all right. Are you ready? You guys ready to fight over the Ahoy, the Ajote? We've got some new ones. Oh, oh, there's a few other things first. Let's do this. This is, let's show, I got three phenakites. Phenakite is one of those rocks. Oh, yes, hold on. 1484. Yes, we'll show you that trick. Not a problem. Miss Trick. Miss Toulouse Le Trick. The Soulville Jewelry. This one is Papaya Quartz. 
totally out of control for the building I managed. Yeah, that's that's a shame. You know, you just got to, like, make people chill out. All right, there you go, toulouse Lautrec. I got you. And so, phenakite, this is the stuff that melts ice. Ice! If you're from Australia, they say ice. It's my favorite word in Australia. It's like... In Australianese, they say it, it's funny, it makes me laugh. Anyways, this is from the Ukraine, which is a, used to be a part of Russia. It's from the same mine that all that really fancy heliodor comes from, except this is like very rare because they don't find it very much. That's what makes it rare. All right, Toulouse Lautrec has started off the party with the $20 papaya quartz. Thank you. We appreciate you. Check the soulful jewelry. Thank you very much. Mommy, did you get it? All right, it's not really my mommy, it's my wife, but I call her mommy. Um, I hope that's all right. It's kind of weird. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Anyways, this is from the Ukraine. It's a really cool rock. I made her laugh. That's it's all right. You should have seen us at dinner. We were like spitting our food out. We were laughing so hard. It's really good. You got to do that after you've been together for like 200 years. You know, because if you don't laugh every day, then you end up beating the crap out of each other. It sucks. We don't do that. We just laugh instead. It's much better. So, you know, if you've been together for like a million years, it's all right. Tourmaline from Paraba. Um, I got some cabochons from there, like five millimeter rounds and three by five millimeter ovals, if you're looking for that. But other than that, I got one specimen. It's like tourmaline on quartz. The Paraíba Tormalina from Brasilia. Uh, so, yes, I have a little bit, but not a lot. I have a couple slices, actually. And actually, no, I have a lot of Paraíba slices from Battaglia, old stuff. Anyways, this is Ukrainian uh, phenakite. This is killer. It's a really amazing piece. It's got good uh, shape and angles and luster and all that jazz. Um, super rare locality. Phenakite is like the most popular white crystal on the planet and it's got to be because of the energy because it's just white why else would anybody like it <laughs> just kidding it's beautiful look at this one this one is super clear you can like totally see right through this one you can totally see right through it look at those angles mate it's great it's got these angles in there it probably melts the ice i should probably get some ice and melt it but it's hot in here so it will probably melt anyways it feels great, she says. Look at that. It's not cut, but it looks like it's got angles on it. It's like wicked, like somebody cut it with a faceting machine. But nature did that. It's nature's faceting machine right there. It's cool. Anyways, I really like this crystal. I can't believe I still have it, but it's all right. It's 225. It's from the Ukraine. It's a really, for phenakite collectors, it's a very hard to get locality. I only have ha ever had seven pieces in 20 years. And that's two of them right there. And I got one more. It's this one. It's a little bit bigger. See, this is the smaller one. But this one's a little bit bigger. It's not quite as clear. But it's got good shape. And it's got thingies inside of it, which is really good, you know. Everybody's like, everybody likes thingies. And, yeah, so look, it's got these thingies here. And it's got some stuff. It's got the shape. It's got... It's like a disc. It's like a calcite disc, but it's not calcite. It's phenakite. It's the rarest pegmatite mineral that everybody wants. There's probably some more rare ones that nobody wants, but everybody wants phenakite. I don't really know why, except it's super high vibe. It's great for you. It's better than Moldavite. It doesn't ruin your life like Moldavite on TikTok. It's not going to do that. It's just going to melt your eyes. It's going to melt your brain. It'll probably open up your pineal gland and turn you into toth or Thoth, or whatever you want to call it, the Egyptian god, it's awesome. Anyways, that one's 250. It's a brilliant, amazing piece. Phenakite. Look at that. We got Phenakite, we got Moldavite, and we got Papaya Quartz. I think we should just stop right there and just cut the show because that's all you need to see right there is beautiful. Oh, no, wait, you want to see some Ahoite? I forgot about that. Yes, of course, Rusty. You cannot forget about the Ahoite. The Ajote. You know, everybody was commenting, I guess Judy Hall passed away a couple of days ago. RIP, rest in peace, Judy. Um, I don't know if it was as well known, but Melody actually passed away last year. She got COVID in Italy. And nobody really knew, except for like a couple people. I don't really know if she had a lot of family, and that was definitely not like announced, so... 
R.I.P. to her as well, and the pioneers of the metaphysical industry. Uh, thank you for paving the way so that we all have reference points and platforms and information from your generation. That was a rhyme. Yeehaw. All right, anyway, so we've got some Ahoite. That's a pretty good crystal right there. Look at that. It's got blue. It's what you want. The blue copper silicate. It's like blue. Anyways, I probably should speed up a little bit. Instead of talking so much, I should just show the rock. And that one's $100. It's a brilliant. It's a brilliant mold of art for $100. Uh, I called it a Moldavite. See if my wife wasn't here. I know what I, I don't know what I'll do. Moldavite takes over my brain, and whenever I'm showing it or thinking about it, it just like takes over. Look, here's five little Ahoite pieces for a hundred dollars. That's pretty cheap. Here's five pieces. That's twenty dollars a piece. But we're not selling them individually. We're selling them as a bag. If you want, I could take them out, but you can see they've all got blue. Blue, 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 blue. And that last one has a little bit of blue in there somewhere. Anyways, that's a cool little baggie of Ahoite Ajote for a hundred dollars. Don't all jump at once now. Don't all jump at once. Now we have this little cluster here. This is nice uh, Ahoite. In the main tip, and I don't even know if there is a main tip, but that's the biggest tip with lots of blue, so we're going to call it the main tip. And then it's got a bunch of hematite in here, and more hematite, and there's some more ahoite. There's probably some epidote in there, and you can see there's some more. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Something like 12 or more crystals that got some blue up in there. Some blue. It's a blue party. Copper silicate ahoite for $250. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you, ahoite. You are very amazing. We love you. Thank you. Ahoite is probably my favorite stone, in case you didn't know. It's probably pretty easy to figure out why, but I have a really special relationship with Ahoite as well. It likes me, and it's like, find me and help me find my new owners. And we've been selling Ahoite since the very first year we got in business. For some reason, I've met somebody who told me all about it, and then we just were off to the races, and it was not easy to get at the time, and we bought a couple collections directly out of Africa, and we've been providing Ahoite ever since, and we love it. It's our favorite. That one is really clear. It's $250. It's got... It doesn't have a lot of the schmutz on the back, which is really typical for this mine. And lots of the Ahoite mines usually have a bunch of schmutz on the back sides, and this one does not. And, yeah, so that one's kind of neat. That's it. It's kind of like that. And that one's 250 Next up, we have another Ahoi. What do you know? We're going to show you a bunch of them tonight. A bunch of Ahoi. It's the copper silicate that everybody loves. And if you don't love it, that's all right. Because Ahoi is the best copper silicate in the world. It's my favorite and it should be yours too because it's amazing and it'll open up your chakras, especially the heart. Can't you see it? It's like, hello, I'm going to open up your heart. If you don't like it, tough. 
because you need it. Everybody needs it in this world. You need to open up your heart, connect with it, you know, because we're too cerebral. We think so much. We forget sometimes to connect with our hearts. And that's what Ahoite will help you do or Ahoite. Yes, this is Ahoite. It's very special. I have some hematite in here and a little bit brown mineral thingy. I don't remember the brown one. I have some maybe limonite and some epidote and some... It has all of the things. This region in South Africa is very well known for quartz with inclusions. At least 27 inclusions have been identified in quartz. I have found at least 10 all in one crystal, maybe 11 or 12. It's crazy. And there is many, many more that have not been identified before. And some of those, we don't know what they are. So unless you want to break it open and smash it and then take a little piece and send it to the lab, some of them, we cannot tell you what it is because we don't want to smash it. And the next one, this is a little cute one. Little cute Ahoito. Ahoito. Thank you, my friend. Ahoito. It is a floater. It has a double terminate here and a double terminate here. And if I take it off, it has another little terminate here. See, it is terminate and terminate and terminate everywhere. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator. <laughs> Anyways, all right. You guys aren't laughing. I don't hear any laughing, so I'm going to stop being a goofball and try to be a normal human being for once and just talk normal. That one's 14, 14. Ooh, that's my favorite number. Yay. And it's 88. That's another good number. <laughs> it's cute. Look at it. Look at how cute it is. Am I going to have to talk in my ASMR voice to get you guys to buy the aha? Because I will if you're not careful. All right. This is another floater. Uh, floater. A floater means it's not attached to a wall anywhere. Like if it had like a break or whatever. Hello, Amber Rock. Thank you for identifying me. Oh, yes. Eight, eight, Lions Gate. Look at that. That's like the best rock. Amber Rock, thank you for being here. You, you reminded me that I have to be silly at least half the time or else nobody's going to like me anyways. So this is also a floater. And a floater means it's not attached to the wall anywhere, which is like it's all crystallized and it's all terminated. Terminermalermalated. Nope, it's not terminermalermaline, but it's ahoite and quartz. Look at that. It's got a little bit of blue there. See it? And it's got yellow. That's limonite. And it's got black. That's hematite. Yes, yes. I'm going to lose my voice from talking too much. I'm going to need something to drink soon. Already. All right. So we've only gotten like four rocks in. That's a seven. So it's $70. 14 dollars dollars $70. That's a seven. My handwriting sucks, but it's all right because my rocks don't always suck. Maybe sometimes they do, but not these. All right. Here we go. There's another one. This is a long crystal. It's tabular. That means it's like smooshed and it's thin. See that? That's tabular. And it's double terminated as well. See? It's got termination there. It's got some of the schmutzite on the outside that probably could be taken off. But, you know, it's got the blue in there. It's what we're looking for. It's got a little bit of thin tabularness to it. It's got some kaolinite balls. That's what the white is. Some hematite, some ahoite, some more kaolinite, some thingies and the schmutz. It's got the schmutz and things too. That's very technical in case you weren't here the last time when we were talking about all the technical thingies. 1421, $120, US dollars, please. We don't take the prices in Canadian dollars or Australian dollars. We love Canadians and we love Australians, but your dollars suck. They're not strong. We are very sorry. We'll try to help you out. Maybe if you buy enough, we'll give you free shipping because you guys are awesome. But uh, maybe. We'll see. You have to be really nice, okay? You can't be mean. All right. Here we go. This is another one. It's another crystal. It's got a Zahoite inside. This is very, very good crystal. It's like a, like, like a good Italian espresso in the cannoli. 
It's very, very nice. The cannoli, cannoli are white. It has the blue and it has the hematite phantom in there. You see it like this. It's very good and we very like. And uh, this, this have stuff here too. This is very rare stuff, but not really. I just rare is selling points, so you, it's rare. So you need to buy it. <laughs> anyway, this one sixty dollar. Maybe come with a shot of espresso, and it's one four two zero. Somebody like that number, I don't know who. Maybe Bob Marley. It's a very good number. Don't make me sing. I'll have to sing again. Okay, okay. Do you want to see this one? Look at this. This is the best rock I've ever seen. Look, it's so pretty. This is amazing. Oh, geez. okay, hold on. This one is very nice crystal. Very good crystal. They have native copper inside and have a lot of ahoite here. Phantom. Very thick, good color, very nice. I think about maybe make pendant with this one, drilling hole here and polished crystal, but it's nice, it's perfect. I don't do it yet. Somebody save it because it's a good one for pendant. You make a hole, it's very good rock for put around your neck. It will open your heart. This is all native copper. It have white kaolinite balls in there and the hematite like this, this uh, epidote. Ah, uh, white cabs, I do have a few. They are, dare I say, lower quality, not a lot of saturation, um, but they're also really inexpensive. I haven't shown the uh, these Ahoy cabs before. I do have some really nice Ahoy cabs, Dr. Apitha Parasati. I hope I said that right. Um, I do have some really good ones that just came in, got back from my cutter uh, not too long ago. Anyways, I guess I should talk less and sell more. That one's 350 And that's a really nice crystal. It's a well saturated crystal. Uh, let's do, we can do the cabs now. Why not? So I've got four cabs that are prepared. I can definitely show some other cabs as well if I need to. Uh, there's one that, yeah, there's one in the box over there that's prepared. Anyway, so this one. So these four cabs do not have a lot of color, but they are very affordable cabs for this material. And I figured I would show them because I have them. You can see there's a little bit of blue in here, a little bit of blue in there. And there's these are sprays. You can see the little needles in there. And no, there's not a lot of color and there's not a lot of Oahu. But if you want a cab and you want it on a budget, this is it because they don't really get any cheaper than this. So that one's 60 bucks. 14.31. And then we got this one. And again, just a little bit of blue, a couple of dots in there, a couple of sprays in there. It's nice. Good for jewelry. And that one is forty dollars. Forty dollar Ahawite cab. Look at how big it is. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright, look, have you ever seen one of these? I bet you haven't. This is an Ahawite heart. It's only got a little bit of colour, but look. It's a heart. I've only seen a few, and I haven't, I don't think I've ever sold one. I have a couple, but maybe I sold one before, I can't remember. There's a little bit of blue in there, and that's the Ahoite that I've got with a little bit of color. Just a little bit. That one's fifty dollars. Fourteen thirty-two. And last but not least, well, actually, I'll show you one more. 
after this. This one's got both Ahoite and Papagoite together in one rock. Look at that. And then it's got a little bit of hematite. Oh, I didn't notice that before. It looks like Shatterkite in there too. Oh, no, that's something else. So it's got Ahoite and Papagoite and hematite and maybe some Pemantite and maybe some hematite in the black form in there. And it's got a big old edge like that. Good for mounting and doing something with it. And that's pretty cool for an inexpensive one. Yeah, it does look like blood. It's probably my blood. No, it's not blood. It's hematite and limonite in there. And it's both colors, $75. Not bad. It's a pretty big cabochon. Can't go wrong because it's Ahoite and Papagoite in the same rock. All right, let me grab this one other one from Mr. Doctor. All right, we've got this one. This one here has got lots of color. Yeah, and maybe that happened. He chopped his finger off and he bled inside the cab and then the cab grew around it again. It's stuck inside. It's like brilliant. Anyways, this one fresh off the dop, which means it was just cut like, I don't know, two weeks ago. And it's got a little bit of thinness here. We're cutting around the angles of where the color comes from. And it's got the edge there. Try to save as much blue as we can. Thank you, dear. The bloop. And that one, it's about yay big. That one is 500. And you can see why the other ones are such good deals because when you've got a lot of color, it gets expensive. But they all sell and they're all worth it. It's not easy materials to get. And there's not many people cutting them. I believe I've cut more than anybody. It doesn't really matter, but there wasn't lot, too many people cutting them, and I started cutting them, and then lots of people started cutting them. But there's not a lot of materials to go around, so you can't really cut it, and you've got to have balls to cut it, because you've got to know if it's a good cutter or not, and you're going to waste a crystal if you're going to cut it. So that's what I've got for Ahoite Cabochons for tonight. Thank you, darling. Thank you. All right. We've got some more crystals here. Let me make some room. Look at that here. Let's put these phenokites over here. Let's put, put? put that there. Put that there. Put that there. In almost. Yeah, you could pull that top one. It's all right. All righty. So there's a nice single crystal, it's about yay big, it's double terminated, see? It's got the blue, it's got hematite, it's about two fingers wide, and that one is great for jewellery, it's fourteen twenty eight. is the skew, it's a hundred dollars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ahoyt. Thank you for blessing us with all of your goodness. Alrighty, so there's that one. It's a hundred. You guys must not like these tonight. Mm -hmm. They must be broken or something. It, it's all right. All right, Mr. Doctor, fourteen thirty-one, sixty dollars. Doctor Arpita Pardasarati. I hope I said that right. I said it slow enough. I got your claim there, Doc. Thank you very much. Make sure you spell it right. There's a couple. There's an underscore in there too, and a dot. <laughs> So there's this little guy, it's terminated here, terminated here, it's got some more of that blood in there. Thank you doctor, we appreciate you very much, thanks for sticking it out. And that one is not very expensive. 
expensive. It's got good blue. All right, perfect. I had to go really slow to get your name. Perfect. Arpita. Dr. Arpita Parsatarti. Par Parta Sarati. Sarati. Parta Sarati. Thank you, doctor. Okay, that one's 50 bucks. That's very good. Very, very, very good. Look at the blue. Very nice. Okay, dokie. Okay, doc. Looks like a turtle shell. Looks a little like a shell. Yeah, no, I don't know where the word turtle came from. I'm, I'm, I'm just reading it wrong. All right, here's another one. It's about yay long, and it's got a little bit of ahua in there, and it's double terminated, terminal terminated. It's got hematite phantom in there, and it's like a rocket ship. It's got a little thingy there. It makes it look like a rocket ship. Something like that. And that one's 14 26 That one's 100 as well. And yes, Ahawite is the name of the mineral. All right, I got one more Ahawite and three Papagoites to show you. And then it's over. I'm going home and turning off the camera. Just kidding. I've got more to show you. But you all got to get interested. you got to at least stimulate me and be like, Hey, talk something funny or something. We're standing here. You're not doing anything. We, we paid to be here, except we didn't. I'm going to have to make you buy badges just so that you can like pay your admission fee for me being stupid. It's, it's brilliant. Look, it's got Ahawite in there, and it's hematite and epidote. And more hematite and more epidote and hematite. It's like an epidote hematite party, and not it's double terminated. It's got a little thingy on the top. That's quartz too. Don't worry, it's not schmutz or anything. It's not like mud. So it's a floater technically. It's floating. It's got a little bit of a thingy there, but it's a floater. It came out of the ground like that. Except it was dirty and it probably needed to be clean like they all do. They always got some crust and dirt on it. So that one's eighty dollars. Fourteen twenty-five is a skew, and that will be all the ahoy that I have to show you tonight. And there's three papagoites that are coming. I'm gonna cry now because oh. all the ahoy's finished. All right, all right, all right. No, it's not. I got this one. Oh my gosh, look at that one. It's a heart. It's a papagoite heart. Don't oh. tell my wife. Shh, it's oh. not a heart. It just looks like a heart, but it's not. Oh, it's got a little side heart there too. It's like a heart on That's a heart. Very cute. Yeah, shh, don't tell my wife. That's very cute. She won't buy it. She likes to steal from the company. Oh. It's all right, it's half hers, so she She's can steal. She can steal what she wants, but I always make fun of her. I say, you're stealing from the company again. She's got a heart rock collection. It's like all the best hearts we ever find. She steals them. But not all. Sometimes I don't show her things and I sell them and I forget to tell her. And then she's like, what are you doing? Those are mine. Just kidding. This is. It almost looks like Cookie Monster, doesn't it? It's got two eyes there. Mm -hmm. And it's co It's like Cookie Monster. Mm -hmm. It's your Cookie Monster Papagoite heart rock. You can't go wrong with that because look at how much color you're getting. Look at it, and you know if it, she will probably say, "I want that rock." If nobody buys it, let's keep it. So you know, if you don't buy it, it's totally fine. That's two hundred and fifty fourteen twenty four. Is that a little? Is that a, yeah, it is. Is that a little bit of ahoite in the middle that I didn't see? In there, I can't tell. I need a loop. That might be ahoite right there in the center. I can't really tell, but it's beautiful. It might be, but it might just be more papagoite. Anyways, that's a pretty good rock for 250. Awesome rock. All right, we got two more. This one also, I think, is very fair price for what it is. Look at this. 
bits of papagoite there and some hematite phantoms in there. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful rock. And where's the face I was looking at it earlier? It's like, it's like this one here. That's the center crystal, I think. It stands up, see, it stands up. That's not a good angle, but it Look stands like stands up like that. And it's, a, it's like a flower. It's all radiating out from every direction. It's very cool. It was very dirty. We had it cleaned, and now it's much nicer. It's got papagoite and papagoite and hematite and more papagoite and quartz and then quartz, you know, all that stuff. Excuse me, sir, why would I put you in my video? Because I don't know you. I don't know why you people do that. Every time somebody comes on here and requests to be in my video, I don't get it. They yes, like yes. That. Maybe they just push the button. He, re he revoked it. It's all right. We don't blame you. Yeah. That button's easy to push. It's like, push me. I want to be in your show. But sometimes people come on and want to sell me something well, in the middle of the show. And it's just like, all right, that's not cool. I'm trying to sell you something. So well, we appreciate you being here anyway, Takur. Thanks for being here, you know, you're pretty awesome, just like everybody. So anyways, we got this one. It's about this big. It's a cool rock. It's 380 Papagoa. It's a flower with hematite, and it's not very easy to find. Anyways, we got that one, and I got one more Papagoa to show you. And then I'm going to cry because it's all gone. But it's all gone for the show. Mm -hmm. So look at that. It's got a nice key right here where there was another crystal. It's, it's like the key to the universe. It's the key to your pineal gland right here. Oh, and it's got teeth. You see the teeth? It's like shark. It's got little shark's teeth on the top. It's not damaged. It's got teeth. It's like that's the way it grew. So that it has little little uh, teeth and stuff. And look at how much color is there. That's a lot of color. That's a pretty crystal. Very nice. Pepper, oh, pepper, pepper go eye. Look at that. How much pepper go eye do you need? You probably don't need that much pepper go eye in one quartz. I should take some of it out and put it inside another one. Mm. It's because it's, you know, it's too much. You don't need that much pepper go eye in one quartz. Nobody likes really saturated quartzes. It's too much because you can't even handle it. Oh, fine. Everybody likes it. That's what you're looking for is this really saturated quartz with lots of color. This is the copper, copper silicate that is the papa. It's the papa, papadocio. It's the papa father, ahoyt. Papagoit. Named after Papago Indians from Arizona. I'm just going to stand and show you. Oh, there's a little ahoy too. Look at that. I missed it. Really? Yeah, I think so. Right there. Where? Right. Hold on. Oh, on the left? Yeah, right there. Where your finger is? Yep. No, on the other side of my finger. Right there. Huh. See it? I see. Yeah, but I see it here. Right I see there. It here. And there? Where? Wow. Oh, I see it, it here. Yeah, so there's Somewhere a little right bit. There. Yeah, there, I see it. There. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the price just went up. Just kidding. I've got it. I've got it priced already. But it's really awesome when you can find both. I didn't actually see that before. That's really cool. And it's got some really nice hematite in there. And this is not an inexpensive crystal because look at how saturated it is. It's about that big. And without further ado, 1437. It's a thousand dollars, which, to be honest, it's not very bad for a papagoite with a little bit of ahoite in there, with teeth. You don't get teeth. Look, mm -hmm. you could like but saw. Great, you could saw something with it. A great uh, termination. Yes, it's like mini terminations. It's like we don't want to terminate only once. We want to terminate four times in the same place. We don't need just one termination. All right. We're finished here. Did you all want to see any of this again? There's not a lot of activity going on. You guys are just watching me being a fool and leaving here. Leaving me here to be a fool all by myself. 
it's not very uh, encouraging. Not you don't have to buy anything if you don't say anything. Then I'm just going to talk normal and just show rocks, or maybe I won't even talk at all. I'll just just show rocks and be quiet. That's what I'll do. I'll just shut up. Maybe I'll sell more. Everybody's like, just shut up and show the rocks, Rusty. Jeez. All right. All right. All right. There it goes. Goodbye. Ah, Hawaii. We'll see you again another day. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm losing my steam already. It's only the first half of the show. It's only been an hour. Some chocolate? Mm, yeah, some chocolate's fine. That would be good. I need some chocolate. Oh, it's your first live. Oh, I'm so sorry. You just found out about me. Was it your first live of anyone? Or was it just your first live of throwing stones? Because I really don't talk like this. I'm not from England. I'm actually from there, North North Kakalaki, and we, you know, we've been traveling all over the world, and we just, we just got everything that we need from every corner of the planet. No, it's not tiring. It's fun. It's fun. Maybe it's tiring. I don't know. I got to entertain myself. That's the purpose of these shows, actually. Is I'm bored. I just show you guys rocks and. You know, if, if they sell, that's great, but I'm just practicing. Okay. Sorry, I got chocolate in my mouth. Now, this is a fluorite mushroom. North Carolina? You're from North Carolina, too? Yeehaw! Thank you very much for being here. I'm going to sing. I'm a Whistle Dixie now. <laughs> All right, sorry. Anyways, these are um, fluorite scepters from Irongo, Namibia, Namambam, Namambia, and they are natural. They did grow like this. They're not cut and polished or anything like that, and they really are mushrooms. If you eat them, you will hallucinate, I promise. You'll probably break a tooth, too, um, so you only want to eat one at a time. Don't listen to the psychedelic gurus, if you eat more than one, like Terrence McKenna would tell you to eat five of these. And if you do that, you're going to go too far. Don't eat the hero's dose, okay? Just eat one, I'm telling you. Anyways, 30 bucks for a fluorite mushroom, natural, and it might make trip balls. And that's on you. That's a pretty good price. That, that is a good price, man. That should be like four million. Four million. Oh my gosh. What is he talking about, man? He comes up with these crazy numbers. All right, now this one here. That one there, that one will get you double high because it's a little bigger. It's got that other mold, mold spores on there. And it says, don't eat it because you'll break a tooth. But you can pretend you put it on your pillow and it'll make you sore like this. All right, that's enough of that silly talk. Don't eat mushrooms. I mean, don't eat fluorite mushrooms because you might have a problem. You won't be able to chew them and you'll be like, what's going on? It's not dissolving. Anyways, $35 for that one. That's a pretty good price. These came like, I don't know, 10 years ago, something like that. Like, they're pretty old. They're not new. I've had these for a long time. Here's another one. I got five of these. If you haven't seen these before, they're super cool. It's totally natural formation. You can see there. And it's like a mushroom. It's like a scepter, except it's... I, I don't know if it's technically it a scepter. Like candy. Yeah, it's like candy. Actually, this is Willy Wonka candy. It's not a rock at all. It's not fluorite. I'm just trying to sell you expensive candy. <laughs> just kidding. It's fluorite. Look at that. It's cool. It's very cool. All right, all right, all right. I'll stop talking. Oh, mama bear, did you hit that button by accident? I love it when that happens. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's all right. She pushed the button to say, can I be in your life? One of these days, I'm just going to I'm gonna hit the button. I'm going to be like, oh, I'm caught you on the spot. Who wants to be in my life? <laughs> Everyone can join the live all at once. Nobody's talking anyway, so let's all join the live together. Let's sing Kumbaya. 
Together, oh, if I do that, we've got to get out the, the angel chimes because I sing Kumbaya and the angel chimes come out. That was really funny on Friday on Facebook. We did that and we had angel chimes and I was singing Kumbaya and it was like, shit, man, he's just going for it. It's like, look, there's a little purple band on this one. There's a mushroom. That one's extra psychedelic because it's got the purple in there. So, you know, if you eat it, we want your report. You got us. You got a. Uh, you got to call me in the middle after you eat it and be like, "Dude, that mushroom, man! I can't believe you gave me that, dude. Why'd you make me eat more than one, man? I don't even know. How, I don't even know how to handle it. Do you know the mushroom man who went to outer space? All right, last one. Last one. Here's your chance. Here's your last chance to get one of them. Natural fluorite mushrooms from Erongo, Namurbia, 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 All right, y'all ain't into these. I'm going to keep moving. I can tell. Nobody said anything. They didn't even say how cool it was. I did. I hope you love me. You're supposed no, I love them, Ron. You're supposed to. Oh. She, I mean, I love you she too. doesn't love me. All right, all right. Now I got five uh, Gila lights, pronounced Gila light. This is like nature's amazing corpus silicate. This is also called Medusa quartz. It's from Pariba State in Brazil. It's from a mine right next to the Pariba tourmaline, except it's not ten billion dollars like Pariba tourmaline. It's Pariba in quartz, except it's not tourmaline. It's actually a corpus silicate called Gila light, which is pronounced. Like Gila, but it's spelled like Gila, you know, like the Gila monster. These are awesome to lose the track. These are the best ever. It's not as good as Ahoite, but it's almost as good. And it's almost, it's only like one or two oxygen molecules different from Ahoite and Chrysocolla and Papagoite and all that. And it's super cool. These amazing, amazing stones. I got these. This is from an old find. They haven't found these. They haven't, they haven't dug anything out of this mine in at least 10 years. That one's $60. That one's got some amazing, crazy. I didn't even see that. Look at that. It's, those are called acicular sprays. It means it's a fancy word for meaning schmutz inside. All right, so there's that one. And then I've got some different ones here. This one only has a stripe. It's pretty cool for jewelry too. It's like, look, I'm a stripe. I'm like streaking Pariba. I'm naked running across the lawn streaking Pariba. Except it's Gila light in quartz. It's two colors actually. Look, there's a bit, a bit of brown in there. It's like brown and blue. This was a new find. Not a new find, it's an old find, but it was a random piece of rough that my buddy had and he cut it and he's like, oh shit, look at that. We, didn't have, we never had that one before. So it's pretty cool. It's got the line in there. You know, and it's got the little thingies. Look at the little sparklies in there. That's like little water trapped in there or something like that. Oh, it's little like veils and rainbows. It's kind of neat. When you cut them like that, it shows up. Anyway, that one's $50. It's pretty good. Very suitable for jewelry. It's good for wire wrapping and for setting. You know, it's not like, it's not like mushrooms, but it's still pretty cool. And if you want bigger ones, you can direct message me. I've got big ones too. They tend to get a little bit expensive but they're really nice and you know there's the no i don't know if there's a lot of them out there every once in a while somebody will show up with a couple of them there's like old ones that come up but there's not a lot and mine got caught recently but it's from an old rock and i don't know if i'll be able to get them again uh talked about buying this mine with a friend and going in and mining it again but you know it's not very easy to do that. It costs a lot of money. It's a risk. And, you know, if you don't buy it, I can't open the mine. That's a three, 33, 3.3 carats, $33. That's like all the master numbers in one thingy on one piece of paper. So you can't go wrong with that. Gila light in quartz, Medusa quartz, it's also called. I don't know why they call it Medusa quartz. It's like you look at it and you, what happens with Medusa if you look at it, you die? Uh, well, she has snakes as hair yeah but what happens if you look at her she he turned a stone oh that's right oh, what a story yeah if you look at this you turn to stone that's great so you know stones are good this stone is good look at that it's got them sprays in it you guys like these or not to lose the check likes them you have one of these has coverlight also 
How is that possible? That's from a totally different area. But I guess it's possible. I'd love to see it, Doctor. I got you, Trick. 1406, thank you so much for your... I think you're the only, uh, you're not the only customer, but you're like... You're keeping us going tonight. It's great. We much appreciate you. Doctor, I'd love to see that piece. If you want to send me a short video, uh, I'd, I'd love to see it. Because Covalite, yes, Covalite is a copper sulfate. Uh, so, yeah, Covalite is a copper sulfate. And these are copper silicates. And they typically don't grow together. But it's, I guess it's not impossible because they're both copper minerals. But I'd love to see it. Because I don't believe you until you show me. Oh, just kidding. I've never seen everything. And I can't see everything, but I've never seen that. And I would love to. Because I'm a quartz idiot. And I love quartz. And I love to know about all the new thingies and the nuances of quartz. I might write a book about quartz one day. But I can't do that unless you guys buy all these rocks. Because I have to sell the rocks in order to buy more rocks. And I can't stop to write about them. No... No, we don't have any uncut. They're all cut. I'm sorry. The bigger ones are all big cabochons. Like, you know, they get up to maybe an inch and a half like that. But we don't have any roof because the people who have the roof cut it because they can make a lot more money cutting it. And that's what they do. They cut it. Um, yeah, no, I don't have access to rough either. Maybe somewhere in the future if I get lucky. Uh, anyway, so there's that. And it's just, it's like the Covalite. There's some random stuff that got out a long time ago that's like natural that could be cut or that's rough, but they only release cabs because they, th there's, there's a shortage of material. So in order to maximize what they've got when there's only a little bit left, they cut it so that they can sell it by the carrot instead of by the kilo. Big difference between a carrot and a kilo. There's 5,000 carrots in a kilo. Did you know that? <sighs> All right, one more of those. I do have bigger ones, but I don't have them ready. I can show you larger cabochons in direct message after the show or tomorrow if you're interested. I also have the ones with the little dots, but I showed those in another show and we've got some of the ones with dots too. And I'm kind of just sort of showcasing some of the different types. This one has got the sprays, little blue sprays in there. It's beautiful. It's a quartz with the blue sprays from Paraiba, state of Brazil. $70. Very good. And if anybody wants wholesale on that, it, I got small pieces. I've got quite a lot of them. So I can give you a good price if you take a bunch, like not four, but like, a, you know, like a group. So if you want those at a wholesale price, I could do that because I've got a parcel that's big enough to do that. All right, that's all of those. I've got some chippy mushrooms here and some gala light, halo light, medusa quartz from Paraba State there. I've showed you that and I've showed you Ahawai. And look at that cabochon in the back. You see how crazy you look at that from the distance. It's just like, oh my God, that's the best Ahoy ever, except it's not the best ever. But look at that. It's just amazing. And over there, we got Phenakite in the front and Moldavite and cut Moldavite. And then we've got uh, the Papaya Quartz, if you guys want to see that again, we can go back. Okay, now we're going to do the, oh, the you, you missed all the Ahoyite. We've got Ahoyite crystals from 60. Oh, shoot, I'm making a mess and throwing them everywhere. This one is 50. This is probably the cheapest one I've got. Uh, yeah, I know, it's all right. You're forgiven, Mirage Rock. So is this your first time on my live? That one's 50. If I could get it in focus, that'd be good. So we've got that. That one's kind of... Like that, and then oh, I've totally spilled a bunch of these things. I have to go back and clean it up. This one's 80. Welcome. Thank you for being here for your first time. You will soon find out how much of a fool Rusty is at throwing stones. He keeps doing funny voices and stuff, but it keeps people going. You know, some people, when they just talk all quiet and drool and drawl and you know, get all boring and, man, there's a bunch of boring live shows out there. I'm trying to be nice and funny and silly and stupid and 
all that stuff all at the same time. Anyway, there, that one's a hundred bucks. And then we have stuff like this. So they go from 50 to 100. And there's a couple of clusters up there. That one's 60. And there's some clusters. This one here's 250. And here's another. Let's see. There's a nice point up here. This one's 100. good jewelry point anyways that's kind of the overview we can go back and show them all at some point if necessary i usually go back and do that all right now we're going to move on to something i named myself calling it portal amethyst i called it portal amethyst because it's like going into a portal with this red hematite and these are cabochons no problem i can show you some more if you want or i'm going to keep moving forward we can go back later so this is from india from hyderabad from 1980 and it only came one time from one place and it is very very nice it is extinct material and most people have never seen it before and i bought it out of a collection from japan oh we were recapping the ahoy we finished some a while back purple um but i can go back and show you those again in a little bit uh they were crystals running from 50 to 100 and then there were some clusters at 200 and stuff anyways portal amethyst super cool with the hematite chevrons uh this is a cabochon ready to put into jewelry and this one is 50 dollars and the other ones that I have are in the same price range tonight. I have some really crazy wild ones that are complete slices that are not cabochons that run from like 200 to 400 that I have shown on my Instagram before. Uh, I'm not going to show those tonight, but I will show those in a direct message if you'd like to see them. So this is a portal. You step into that hole right there and it takes you into the sixth dimension. I promise. Look at that. There it is. It's a check mark leading you to the sixth dimension right there. Super, super cool. Only came from one place. Only came one time. Um, or maybe twice. I don't know. I wasn't in the rock business in 1980. But I've only seen it once. I bought it out of a collection in Japan. There was a bunch of crystals that needed to be chopped, and I chopped them up. And we made cabs and slices. And there you have it. Uh, oh, look at that. Hoo-wee. There's the back side of the wormhole. That could even be considered the front side of the wormhole. And if I can actually stop messing around with the light here, I'll show it to you real good. Anyways, really nice stuff. Super not common material. Only the old timers that are into high-end lapidary rough have ever seen it. Unless you've seen it on my Instagram, most people have never heard of it. And that is Portal Amethyst from Hyderabad, Hyderabad, Northern India, 1980. Look, this is like Superman. This is Superman Cabochon. This will turn you into Superman if you step through the portal. Look at the color. Oh, come now. Okay. Hair is very nice. Good, good, good. As the color is zoning, which means it's it's like don't park here, park there, like zoning. Oh, southern India. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I mistake. Hyderabad is southern India. I made a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> My Indian geography is okay, but not perfect. We only went to northern India when we visited India, but we will go to southern India again. Well, for the first time, some point in the future, I promise I will come visit you. <laughs> Are you from India, my friend? Are you in America or England or what? We love India. India is very good. Yes, yes. If you are talking Ahoyt, I can show you that. This one is $50. I finished this one. I put it here. And let's see here. Oh, I have to do, I have to take my phone out of this little thing here to do this for you. 
and I don't like to go mobile, but I will do it. You want a screenshot? Oh, this year. This, this one is the most special one. What, this chocolate? Mm. <laughs> don't sell my chocolate. This one is here. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's very hard to do this like this. Here, I do it like this, okay. You take the screenshot. Very good. Now you can look on your time and you can say, oh, I want to buy them all. If you buy them all, I give you a good price. Eat the chocolate. <laughs> Most ancient diamonds in India from Hyderabad, Golconda. Golconda, that's like the ranch in Brazil, except it's spelled different. Oh. Thanks for that, Doc. Appreciate the lesson. I love learning about India. India is great. It's one of my favorite places. Definitely changed my worldview going to India. I was also pretty young. And we studied yoga with some pretty adept people. And we had our minds blown. Good timing. And here's another little portal. This one's got some needles going on. Really nice zoning triangulating triangulating not strangulating look there is a portal you go through here you go directly to the sixth dimension I promise you you will not come back you don't want to come back just go through there <laughs> if you don't I will this one is 25 very nice, very nice, my friend. Very good price for you. Best price for you. Okay, one more portal amethyst to show you for tonight. And then we will move on to more dirty copper silicates. Look at this piece. Look at this. Oh my God, I underpriced it. What am I doing? This is a crazy piece oh man it's always prettier on the camera when i am using my eyeballs i need to get glasses and use big lights when i price because this is so good very good nice piece try to keep in focus six dimension hole mm -hmm. that's a good one very nice This one should be 150 but tonight $75. Very good for the material. Thank you. Okay, dokie, dokie. So the really good ones, the ones that are really expensive, get like this and complete, and they're 200 to 400 bucks. And I don't have a lot of them. That's a good rock. Okay, dokie. Now we're going to move on to yet another copper silicate. What do you know? I'm a copper silicate junkie. So this is gem silica, chrysocolla in quartz druzy from the Ray Mine from 2014. Yes, I know all that information. This is tannerite. Tannerite, not tannerite. Tannerite is what blows up things when you shoot it. It's like very fun. You can blow up things. <laughs> this is tannerite and chrysocolla and quartz and druzy quartz. It's like pizza pie. That's more a something, something you need a pizza pie. That's more. Gem silica is so pretty, it's doozy, I love it. Gem silica ray, mine is beautiful, oh my goodness. This is another doozy. This is like sparkling. You can make the jewelry from this and you can put like $10 million on it because it's, look at it, look. Look at it, it's so pretty. Oh my God, how can you go wrong? This is like the best, it's so nice. 
my uh, my sales tactic is the best. I have the only three words that I can use for describing it is the best. It is pretty and it is sparkly. That is all you need to know. This one, thirty-five dollar. Brazilian, yes, I, 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 it's more like a combination of Russia and Italia, and I don't even know. I can, uh, habla, yo hablo español, pero no puedo hablar en, uh, en portugués, pero es, es muy similar. Necesito aprender portugués. I try, I try. I'm actually a little psycho and have all these language thingies in my head and it's because I've traveled too much and there's no such thing as traveling too much and I miss it. I haven't traveled in a while. I really need to because I'm sitting here at home losing my mind. <laughs> we ship from North Carolina. We ship seven days a week. We have an entire fulfillment center on our property and we have a bunch of people who ship out our orders for us. So we uh, pride ourselves in getting people their stones as fast as possible. A lot of people, they pay on Monday afternoon and they can possibly get their stones on Wednesday sometimes, depending on how fast we get out the invoices and if you live on the East Coast. On the West Coast, typically, uh, it'll be more like Thursday or Friday. Portuguesa, yes, it's very good. Very good language. It's like horizonte. It's like French and Spanish put together like mishmash. This one, Druzi Krishikola from Zere Mine in Arizona. And then there is this one. Look at this one. This is so beautiful. Oh, there is two color inside. It is like Chrissy Cola and maybe Chateau Kite or something. It's like another pizza pie. Don't make me sing that some more again. And this is 10, right? And it's also 11, right? Okay, Doc. This very good for jewelry, jewelry. If I make, I put some silver around here and put the bell here and it's like 150, something like this, but now it is $40. So you put the bell around and you make money. It's very easy. Easy for you to sell $100, I think, not a problem. You make the jewelry, you make all the money and you come back. You say, oh, Rusty, thank you, I make money. I will buy from you again. Okay, last one. Last one. This one have more uh, a druzy quarter on the top. More druzy quarter. This is crystal cola. This is not inside the quarter. Here, this is only crystal cola. Tongue stick to this watch. Mm. Oh. <laughs> if you can't see it, it's sticking to my finger there. Uh -huh. And on the inside, this is under inside the quartz. Look at Druzy. Look, it's very good. Uh, maybe a little malachite in there too. So it have many different color and so special. It is like a big slice of pizza. And this one is a 13.98 is skew. $40, cannot go wrong. If I go put on Etsy shop, it will be 50 or $60. And everything go on Etsy shop soon because you are not buying it. So I have to do something with it. I have a whole pile of things. Oh, can I show you without taking it off? There's all these piles and piles of things that I make for live show and they didn't sell. So we put on Etsy. <laughs> Etsy, very good. No spit. What do you mean no spit? This is very good rock. It's a precious, precious, very nice. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get down to business here. And I mean business. Who wants to buy some rock? I give you a special price. Ready, go. Next up, we have tourmaline from Caribib, Namibia. 
from a mine called Entschwaben. First one and second to last. Um, yeah, we can do that. I'm assuming you're talking about the gem silica. Look at that one. I think that's the first one I showed. I did, it was it. Was that the first one? Anyways, that's the first one uh, on the page. I'm assuming that's the one you're talking about. There's that one. The second to last one is that one there. It's like sparkly, uber sparkly. It's awesome. I hope those are the two that you were looking for, toulouse Lautrec. I hope you don't mind me calling that, knew that. I think it's really funny. I'm laughing inside, but you know, if it's offensive, you just be like, Rusty, shut up, don't call me that. I know it's not your name anyways, because you've got a name, it's not Trek, and it's not the soul jewelry, but I don't remember it because I don't. <laughs> anyway, that's from Inchwabin, Caribbean, Namibia, for $35. That's a pretty good deal. It's good for wire wrapping, and it's got termination there. It's a nice teal colour. And let me see about making some room here. Alrighty, 1397 for Toulouse Lautrec. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Very much appreciate you. Very much appreciate all of you, all of the 12 people who are watching, who are not the three people that are watching that work for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because there's at least three people watching to make sure that we catch all of your bids. Like Star Trek, so it's a play on that super. Well, I'm going to call you Toulouse Le Trek. Mm -hmm. Toulouse Le Trek, like Dr. Spock. I'll have to sing the, uh, the Star Trek song. If I can remember it, you know, like the, the, the thingy that goes like. <whistles> something like that, I can't remember. It'll come to me though. It, I won't stop thinking about it until it does. So this one's got a really nice termination with three faces on the top and it's got this extra color in there. It's teal with like a little bit of pink cap. And it's a really nice piece, very good. Only $40, it's a great piece of tourmaline. Namibia, it's teal. Let me see if I can show the color. Does the color actually show? It's much, much nicer than Man, this camera just does not show the color of it well at all. This is very much nicer. That's a little bit better for color right there. It looked kind of like that, but it's definitely nicer in person, I promise. Most of the stones are nicer in person. The camera is not as good as the human eye, I promise. Your eye, unless you have bad eyes, is going to show you more color and more thingies. And the thingies are the best, you know, because the thingies inside of the courts and the thingies is what makes it so special. Without having thingies inside, what would we do? It wouldn't be inclusions and then we wouldn't want it. It would just be like plain. Who wants plain? Not me, I need inclusions because I've got problems. All right, look, it's a heart, almost. Don't show my wife. It's got a little thingy there. It's like a heart. It's a very nice termination and it's got the nice colour. And look, it's upside down, so she won't steal it because it's not, it's not hot anymore, Nicole. Look, it's upside down. It's like a mushroom. <laughs> it's only a mushroom. That one's $30. Tricky. I tricked her. She does not want to steal that one. You have to steal it from her quick, quick before she flips it over. She's got, she's got this hot, hot, hot rock fetish. I'll have to show you one of these days. If you don't buy anything, then I'll just sit here and show you rocks of our own. And then you'll be like, oh my God, I want to buy all your rocks. And be like, sorry, can't sell you our rocks because they're our rocks. And, you know, it's like everybody who's a dealer with rocks, they got into it because they needed to keep some. So it's like, oh, we'll just buy like five so we can keep one and then we got into it a little bit too deep we were like let's buy the whole room oh shoot what are we going to do now we have to start selling it happened that way we definitely bought a whole room of rocks more than once one time we bought a brazilian dealer out in denver like i don't know eight years ago nine to, i don't even know it was like some time ago one of these big dealers from brazil he didn't show up and his buddy showed up with just all his stuff from storage and he said sell it and at the end sell it for cheap you know discount it all and just make one price for the room and i was like how much for the room no it's not aquamarine my friend this is tourmaline this is from namibia 
from Enchwaben, uh, Karabib. We have Aquamarine, but we don't have it for showing tonight. We showed that the other night. So this is Tourmaline. It's a teal color. That one's $30. It's much nicer in color than the camera shows. The camera doesn't show it very good. I don't know why, because we've got like 14 lights. It should be beautiful, but it's not as beautiful. That look, that's pretty good. All right, that's pretty good. But it's more blue than that, I promise. Anyways, one more tourmaline to show. And then we're going to move on. Getting through it tonight. All righty. Terminermaline. Tur Turdmaline, that's what I like to call it. Ooh, look at there. It's got a little dark spot. What is that? That's just the light reflecting in there. See the little rainbow? It's like coming off that. 1398 is... Where is 1398? Oh, that is Gem Silica Druzy, Kate. That's 1398. This is from the Ray Mine from 2014 in Arizona. This is Chrysocola with quartz on top, and it's Druzy quartz. Uh, they call that Gem Silica. Thank you, Ultimate Crystals. We greatly appreciate you. I hope you were calling me, dear, because I, I love that. If you call me dear, it's great. Or you might have been talking to, to Kate, in which case it's totally fine too. All right, that's all the tourmaline to show you. I don't know, maybe. Maybe we could, but the problem is is that we lose the ones who are here. But it's true, we could. We could, we could start over and uh, make some more people come in. All right, so... If there's anything you want to see again for you, just joining you here. So this is uh, tourmaline. We got uh, gem silica. That's great, Kate. Thank you so much. Did you see this right here? This one is crazy. This is portal amethyst. This is really cool. I don't know if you've seen those before. That one's a really nice one that I underpriced, but it's really neat. It's a, I call it portal amethyst. You go right into the sixth dimension if you put your mind right there. Just like... Pew. Anyway, that one's 75, 13.99. And so we've got three or four of those. And then we've got... Let's do the recap here. We've got some of these. Uh, Gila light. Gila light. Copper silicates in quartz. Uh, we've got to get a zoom in, a zoom in on that. Look at that, and that one is $60, $14.03. It's really nice, a copper silicate from Pariba Tourmaline. Euphorolite, you mean you Euphorolite? Euphorolite, what's that? That sounds like a made up name, Euphorolite. <laughs> yeah, so this is, uh, this is a rare copper silicate from one place in Brazil. I don't know if it comes from anywhere else. It's called Halolite. It's also called Medusa Quartz. Uh, Euphorolite, I've never heard of, Kate. I think, do you mean Eudialite? Euphorolite sounds like something Bob Simmons made up, you know, because it gives you euphoria, which is great, except you might get dementia from that. Just kidding. I don't know about that, but you, if you... Russian material, that's Eudialite. Euphorolite. I've never heard of it called Euphorolite. You're talking about the dark red stuff. You know, Euphorolite, it's with Lapidolite and other stuff. Mine from US. I've never heard of that. That's definitely not a mineral name. And that's totally fine because people name things all the time. Like I named this portal amethyst and whatnot. Um, but I'll have to look that up. Black Mine Hill. Never heard of it. Euphorolite. I love how people come up with awesome names for things. I'm not being facetious. Bob Simmons is actually pretty bad at it, though. He'll call it he healerite or shamanite or, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, man. Anyways, whatever. Everything is good. Everything is necessary. Bob Simmons is great. I appreciate his work. And I think they were saying it's something else, Doc Arpita. 
Okay, this flat, this paper is finished. We are moving along, unless you need to see it again. There is fluorite mushrooms. There is helalite, portal amethyst. And now we are moving on to, uh, what's this called? Rhodochrosite. I have five of these rhodochrosites. I'm going to do these quickly. These are each $20. This is kind of weird, but that's just how I bought it. Um, apparently only one man who owns the mine. That sounds like good marketing. <laughs> it's probably true, but you never know. So that one is $13.84. I've got five of these. I'm going to blow through these really quickly. If you guys like these, just call out the number. These are double terminated rotocrosite points. And it's got this little wire wrap thingy on here. I'm not a huge fan of it, but that's how it came. And I've had these for a really long time. And I saw them in my drawer and I was like, I'm going to show those. Um, send me a message when you can. What do you mean? Did you buy something? Um, I, why, why? I'm confused by that. Earth filter. Did you make a? Did you make another comment that I missed? Anyways, that one's there. And thirteen eighty seven. Aha, I see some claim now. Thirteen ninety four and thirteen ninety eight. Thank you, GYD Earth Filter. So thirteen ninety four is where this one. And 1398. All right, I got you. Thank you for repeating that because sometimes comments don't show up. And that's why you made a comment that was like, you need to send me a message. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> glad I spoke up. I'm glad you spoke up. I've got you those two. It's Grant. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you, Grant. Hello, uh, mischief managed. Yes, this is rotocrosite uh, pendant, double terminated pieces. Uh, I've got five of these, and then I've got five stalactites. Have a good night, Earth filter. So there's those five um, road cross site pendant thingies. All right, we got now. I got five um, road across site stalactite pieces. Look at that! It's like a bullseye. This is from the Capilitas mine, which is one of the biggest silver and gold mines in the that's it, active in the world. It's owned by the government of Argentina. And uh, this is some nice material. It comes in stalactite form. This is only, not the only place in the world that does rhodochrosite stalactites, but it's definitely one of the best and most prolific. This one's only $25. Look at that. It's looking at you. It's looking at you. Hello. I would like to come home with you. If you stare into my eye, you will go to the fifth <laughs> dimension. This is a portal to the fifth dimension not the sixth dimension you have to buy the portal amethyst if you want to go there anyways this one 25 dollar very very nice very good next one this one looks like an alien eye yes it's like a third eye there's another one it's got two eyes one there and one there look it's looking at you cross-eyed like a like an owl or something that's pretty neat and it's got that and it's got that and it's one of these thingies here yeah. and that one's 40 40 dollars not bad not too shabby and 
look at this is number eight. It's like one of those like Russian dolls where there's like a doll inside of a doll inside of a doll inside of a lentil soup. And that's pretty cool. Look at there. Very nice. Number eight. It's infinity with the little side. <laughs> this one is thirty-five dollars. That's a complete little stalactite knob like that. And then there's this one. Oh, look at this. How many rings? How old is this tree? A one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 twelve. a lot. It's a lot of it's a lot of trees. Wow. That one's very good. I probably only looked at that side when I priced it. I didn't even flip it over. That's a really good one. It's a really good price too. Look at that. Thirty dollars for that. Shoo. What are you smoking, Rusty? Oh, I should cut that. And if you don't buy it, I'm going to cut that in two and make a pair of earrings out of it. That one's super for 30 bucks. That's a great deal. Milk Duds, I like your name. Thank you for being here. Yes, Trippy Portal. Oh, look at that one. That one's pretty cool too. It's like an egg. It's got like... It's like a dragon eye or something. It's like I'm staring at you, mm. and I've I've got fire in my eyes. I just ate a habanero, and my eyes burning. That's what it looks like, and that's great. This one you could, I could definitely cut that one to a couple of pieces and make earrings. It would be a nice little dangly, wouldn't it? I should do that. Cut right there, and then I got two. Is there enough? Yeah, there's enough there for two. You polish the back side. And it's like really nice there. It's a good piece. That one's $45. And that is the last one of these that I have to show you tonight. I've got more of these kinds of thingies, but I can only put together so much. And I talk a lot, so I don't actually get to show very much because I shut. I need to shut my mouth and show more rocks and not talk. But, you know, then everybody will be like, we came here because you're being funny and now you're not, so I'm going to leave. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, fine, it'll be funny. I'll try, but I'm funny looking, that's about it. Yes, those are all from Argentina. Sabotage Gabby, Sabotoga, how do you say that? <laughs> Zuzu, all right, good to see you. Thank you for being here. All right, we're going to do something. This is, uh, this is, the, um, 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 this is hematite. I got five of these to show you. This is from Entwanning, which is a crazy name for a mine. It's an N with a little thingy that goes like this, you know, a tilde or a, a apostrophe. It's N apostrophe Chwanning, Entwanning. And this is the Kalahari manganese field. It's the large, largest manganese field in the world. Look at that. This is awesome. It's like, you are getting sleepy. You think this is labradorite, but it's not. It's, it's actually hematite, but it looks like labradorite. Look at that. It's got zoning, but hematite doesn't do that. What is going on here? That's crazy. I've never seen anyone do anything do it like that before. Actually, I have. It's really cool. Thank you, Ultimate Crystals. We are trying to have a good collection and, you know, sometimes we have good pieces and sometimes we don't. But we show everything and, you know, we can't show everything, actually. This is hematite from Entwanning, Kalahari Manganese Field. And it's, look, it's only $30. Like, phew, goodness gracious. Yes, it's hematite. That hair comes with it. It's a free hair. Did you see that? Look, you get that one. That's free. I'll put it in the bag for you. That's, that's, that's good luck right there. I promise, you should ask my buddy Cedric in Japan. He's like, oh man, you're such good luck, Rusty. Every time you come to Japan, all these good things happen. Can I just have one of your hairs so when you leave, all the good things will happen to me too? Mm. And, you know, he's really dirty, so we talk about funny things too, but we probably shouldn't talk about that here. Anyways, we got more of these. Look at this one. This is brilliant, and I mean literally brilliant, and it's also like brilliant like the word they use in England. 
I appreciate you too, Ultimate Crystals. I'm not from England, but I sound kind of like it. But the English would probably be like, you sound like a fucking idiot, man. What are you doing? He's making all this stupid accent. Why don't you just talk like you're normal, like you're from America? I'm like, all right, man, I'll talk like I'm from North Carolina. If you want, I'll just go on and talk like a hillbilly like I am. Because that's where I'm from. And that's where I'm... Anyways, here we go. Look at the luster on the hematite. The luster on the hematite is very, very nice. This very good crystal. Very, very nice. Very good crystal. You should buy because it's a very good price. Forty dollar. Make me sing a song. Okay. Next up, we've got, guess what? Another hematite. Look at that. That's cool. Look, it's terminated there. And it's got this crazy looking shape. And it's terminated on the bottom to almost, is it? It's a floater. It's not a floater. No, it's not terminated on the bottom. But that's cool. It's got this good shape with the flat top. It's like, you know, shiny and things and hematite-y. And it's, it's full of iron, so it's good for your blood. Don't eat it, though. It's not good for that. You can't digest it. But if you join my class that we've been talking about, we could teach you how to eat rocks so that you can buy more rocks and not buy food because you can just learn how to eat rocks and breathe air, and that's all you need. And then you can buy more rocks. You don't have to worry about buying food again. So we're going to have that class one day. It's going to be a really good class. You shouldn't miss it. It's going to. It's called Rocketarian with Breatharian Knowledge. And, you know, it's called spend all your money on rocks class oh. we all do it you know you do it it's a problem we all do it we just there's too many rocks there's not enough money it's it's, it's just how it goes but look at that that's brilliant hematite and it's on matrix for those of you who like geology and things the matrix is like the host rock when you got it on matrix it's usually worth more sometimes it depends on the situation but all the scientists say want it on matrix because it's sometimes it's harder to get rock on matrix not this type this type's pretty easy but there's some things like tourmaline on matrix is worth so much more usually if it's good crystal than tourmaline not on matrix because it's not easy to get them on matrix because it grows in this like this clay or something in pegmatite material and whatnot and so getting it on matrix is a really cool thing so that's something you learn today that matrix is called a host rock like that that was 60 dollars hematite from kalahari manganese field you can't go wrong with that it's only 60 bucks it's it'll shine back at you. if you need a mirror if the shit hits the fan you break your mirror you can just look at that and be like oh look i got something in my tooth it's good it's good for that it's got a little key there where there was another thingy, you know, it's like the key to the universe. You just <coughs> unlock it there. And there's another one. Oh, man, that's the key to the side universe. Like, <coughs> you know, you, you, you plug it in there. And that right there, that's a good, nice, flat termination. And then it's got these other little thingies and stuff and thingies, you know. It's a good hematite. It's good, perfect iron crystal for you. You know, it's good for your blood. It's very grounding. It's making me very grounded, man. It's like I'm not floating anymore. You know, cube. Hematite grows in cubes in, from only one place that I've ever seen in Brazil. I've only seen one actual hematite cube, like a true cube. And it was very expensive. So, pseudo cube. I don't know what you'd call it. It's that thingy. It's that shape there that everybody wants. You know, you've got to have it. 60 bucks. You can't go wrong with hematite because it's good for you. Like I said, it'll make you grounded, which is great because if you have moldavite, you need hematite because otherwise you're off to the races like flying in the stars. I'm going to go to Saturn because of moldavite. All right, that's enough. What's next? We've got uh, seraphonite. It's a Russian mineral. It's fibrous. It's it's a type of clinoclore, which is a big fancy word, which means rock that's fibrous from that place that, you know, it grows in Russia. Anyways, that's a heart. If you didn't know what that shape is, it's been shaped like that. It's a cabochon, so you could put it in jewelry if you wanted, or you could set it on your altar or your face or something like that. You could put it on your forehead. It'd be pretty good. And don't lose the back crystal now. It's could fall. Don't spill the ahoite. 
Anyways, we've got Seraphonite. It's pretty nice. See that? And that one is $25. That's pretty good, yeah? That's a good price. It's a good price, yeah, my wife. So what you're doing is underselling everything, Rusty. But you know what? It's all right. Everybody's got to get a good deal every once in a while. And there's some things we probably overprice. So you've got to underprice some things too, you know? It's just how it works. So there's another one. It's round. You can see it's called, it's chatoyant. See how it makes it dancing like that? It does the thingy when you move it. It's about that big. That one, $38. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So for all of you who are still watching, if I was to take a break and turn the camera back on in like five minutes or ten minutes, would you come back? Because there's not a lot of you talking. You're just sitting there and I'm doing all the talking. And you guys aren't saying anything and you're not buying anything, which is all right. You don't have to buy anything, but you at least got to say something. Because otherwise, it's just me talking to myself like I'm talking to the wall. And if I'm talking to the wall, I might as well be doing something else and playing music. You know what? I could just turn the camera back around and play some music. That would be all right, too. You guys would probably all leave, though, because he stopped talking. I'm just going to leave. Here's another one. Shine like the stars and crystals. Uh, the only real reason I want to pause is because we it, it sends everybody a message again, and then like maybe we'll get more people, which you know seem to be a little light tonight. Cool. Well, thanks for uh, we got five comments. That was great. You guys are awesome. Uh, let me show this. I'll finish showing the Seraphonite. And I got one more. And shine on you, crazy star crystals. Oh, Miss Chief. What would you like to see, Miss Chief? Miss Chief managed. I have some Thulite left to show got some new witch's fingers which are different and i've got some red phantom quartz and we showed ahoite and papagoite and tourmaline and helolite fluorite scepters and moldavite got some big chunky moldavites and some uh moldavite cabochons and there was three phenakite crystals and some really really nice um papaya quartz Everybody likes the Ahoite. This must be your first time here. Shine on you crazy star crystals, diamonds. It's very good for you to be here. Thank you very much. I don't think we turn off camera. You guys, you you will be happy because mischief has to stay. I don't want to lose her. She is a very good customer. She is a very good person. She has a little baby. She doesn't need to leave. Okay. So, Ahoite. We do again. Everybody already see Ahoyt. We do it again, maybe quickly. I only have a little bit left to show you anyways, but I can always pull other flat from somewhere. Okay, so this is five little crystals for a hundred bucks. We'll start there. And it all, they all have little, little bits of blue in there. And they're little guys. Gonna recap. That's okay, Miss Chief. It's totally fine. I'll get in trouble if I buy more. Yeah, I understand. All good. Thanks for being here. Thanks for commenting. Good luck with your little baby. That one's two fifty. And this one is ninety. Shine like the sun, shine on you crazy diamonds, when you're up in the shelter, I don't remember, I don't remember the words. Oh. 
Oh, not just a whistler, my friend. I have all the accents, every single one, except for the ones that I don't have. We will be talking every craziness you could imagine. Look, this is tabular crystal with many ahoite and there is there is hematite and there is doubly terminated like this. And this is 120, 142 one is the code. It's very good ahoite. It is a little bit like two finger crystal like this. And I have some kaolinite ball like this. Kaolinite is like crystallized clay. It's very nice, very good crystal. And this one, my handwriting is terrible. Oh, I'm going all out of order. No, wait, I show, did I show this? I'm all out. I'm screwed up now. I'm going all out of order. This is floater, which means it does not attach to the wall. That is a seven. My handwriting is crap. So don't worry. I will tell you the right price. This is not 770. It's only 70. This has many hematite and uh, epidote. Ooh, I'm going to drop. I'm going to throw stones. 420. A fourteen twenty. Where is that? Where is that? Oh, this one. Okay, now you're making me jump everywhere. It's right in the camera. This one hundred dollar. Ahoite and hematite. Eh, let me get better, better light here. Oh, come on, camera. There, there is color. Ahoite color. And this one is like this. And this double terminate, see? It have the, the point here and the point here is doubly terminated. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger is only singly terminator. Okay, this one here also good. I didn't show all this, I show again. This is $100. It's a very good price because have many color inside like this. This one may be good for make ring. You can pull off this side here and polish and then maybe wrap around like this for making ring. Very good piece and I, I like it very much. And then we have this. Oh, I need to zoom out. Look at how beautiful the part is here. Just kidding, that's not the good side. <laughs> this one, 250. Very nice color. Half, half blue. Half blue will travel. Today I was speaking again to the mine owner and we were talking about all the history for when all the Ahoyt came out. I have many, many stories. I went to the mine in 2008 and 2009 and 2010. I was the, the, only, the only foreigner that has been lucky enough to dig Ahoyt at the source. And I have very good relation with this mineral. This is crazy. This is papagoite. This will open your pineal gland and third chakra. Third chakra. What do I mean? Not third chakra. Your third eye. This is very nice. Very saturated piece. No ahoite, huh? Well, maybe we can help you. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, this one, very good crystal. Very good crystal. This one have a lot of color, a little bit more expensive. This native copper on the back side right here. All right, come on, let's get it together here. There's some kaolinite in there. There's a, this is all native copper, and this is really well saturated. It's got hematite. It's got a little limonite right there, a little couple of kaolinites. And that one is 350. Nice little jewelry point. Um, think about drilling a hole in that so it could be worn maybe someday. Maybe not. Can always keep it natural too. That one doesn't need to go into jewelry. And we got this little guy. This is 50 bucks. I have a lot of Messina quartz that doesn't have blue in it as well. I haven't shown any of that though. I'll have to pull some of that out of the shed. If you're interested, I've got all kinds of nice crystals that don't have any blue with all the other weird minerals inside. Well, not all, but some. King Joseph, hello, my friend. Welcome, thank you for being here. Thank you for saying hello. This is Ahoite. Yes, the floater you can see again. There's several floaters, but this one I believe is the one you're talking about. 
so when I was digging in 2009, we got into a pocket. They called it Rusty's Pocket. It didn't have a lot of blue. It was mostly a pemantite pocket. But I learned about how these things grow in a larger pocket. Because when you hit a small pocket, like sometimes you'll pop open, pop a big rock off, and there'll be like just a little a little pocket like the size of this. And it can still be called a pocket. And there's like quartz is attached and whatever. And you got to like hammer out like the edges to try to get most of it or, or, you know, take the little crystals off of the pocket or whatever. So the pocket that I got in was all intergrown like a puzzle piece. Like a bunch of puzzles all stuck together. They were all like mud in between and they were all like this. And so we take the water and you spray high pressure water in there and loosen up the mud. And so these crystals that were all like locked in. You just start to shake them a little bit like this and they would just start to loosen. And with, with the water, the mud would come loose and you just get like one and you get it loose. You know, you'd shake it like, you know, like just like this. And it was more like clusters like this floater. This is what reminded me of it. They're all literally like grown together. Like, and you just kind of like loosen it with the mud and you could get it out. And once you got one out, it sort of unlocked the rest of them. And now you could like shake this one loose and then this one loose. And there'd be one like attached to the wall and ceiling. And you'd have to like start hammering up this way and like pulling out crystals and like debris this way until this was loose. And sometimes you'd have to go like all the way around to like the top of the pocket like this and come down from below and like hold the piece here because it's going to fall and like loosen it from the top. And it's really different from a lot of other mining. Like a lot of mining, you have to do a lot of hammering and you have to get these pockets open. You got to hammer. You got to get, I mean, we even had like an excavator hammer, hammering open these pockets, but we got into this area that was, was kind of like under this shelf and I was laying down underneath this shelf laying on my back like just sitting here like moving all loosening all these little quartz crystals and it was crazy shana you crazy diamond i hope you got to see that floater pretty good uh if you i didn't think i showed that one again that's a seven so that's 70 dollars 14.22 is the number on that one uh this one's a little floater it's a little piece but it's complete on all the sides. It's double terminated there and there and there. This is all epidote, a little epidote spray right there. I think that's like a flower. 422 and 1428 is which one? Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, they're both nice pieces. Anyway, so that one's a little neat. Neat little floater. I put that one on a little stand so that you could see. Like that. And that one is 88. All right. So I think we mostly recapped. Here's what this is a Papagoite cluster. Uh, if there's any way I can help you to facilitate your decision, shine on you, Crazy Diamond. I will do that if I can, but it's obviously it's a personal preference. So that one's pretty cool. It's a nice, nice cluster. This was really dirty, and all this is hematite here. Really good hematite phantoms, and that's three eighty. Ultimate crystals. I see you with the X. X marks the spot. All right. Which has the best saturation of these two? I must say this one has more saturation than this one. Yes, you can message my inbox. I won't see it during the show, but after at in two hours, just under two hours when I finish, I will answer anything that you have in the inbox, Ultimate Crystals. All righty, shine like crazy stars, Crystal Diamond, Pink Floyd. I hope you like Pink Floyd because I'm gonna, you're forever in my mind, you're gonna be shine on you, crazy diamond. Just kidding, thank you so much, I appreciate you. 1428, it is Ultimate Crystals. I'm happy to answer your questions if it's urgent. I will stop and look at your message now if you really want me to. But if not, then 
they're not. New page about Chris. Who is that? That's not what I need. That's what's going on here. All right, yeah, Crystal Products. Yes, okay. How much is this? We're doing a live. Oh, that one. Okay. All right, what do you all want to see next? I don't have a lot left to show you, but I can always show other things that you haven't seen. Um, Only with Sid Barrett. Yes, of course. It's like Uma Guma. Did you hear Uma Guma? That's like the craziest album ever. I, I think Sid was dead by then already, but... It's a good one. It's a little bit crazy, actually. All right, look, there's a, pa a Papagoite heart. I just have to show that one more time. My wife's probably like, don't show that one. No. The first time I picked on her, I told everybody about her heart addiction. She got on my case. She's like, why are you picking on me? You stop it. I'm your wife. I'm like, yes, but I'm being funny. Everybody likes it. Moldavite. Yeah, we could redo Moldavite again. Why not? Let's do it. I only have a few, but they're big ones. I don't, I didn't have any small ones. I've got, oh shoot, what's that doing? Let's just recap this whole tray because this whole tray, oh no, stop it. It's falling. Stop it, rocks, you're falling. Do they help? No, I'm good. I'm not good, but you know, I'm gonna try. I'm bad, I'm very bad. All right, so let's look at the mole of it again. For those of you who saw it, I'm sorry. Happy wife, happy life. That's right. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. All right. There was get on with their moldavite. I hope you like some their moldavite. I got this here cabochon. It's half polished moldavite. And there in the back side right there is a little bit. And it's, all my moldavite is guaranteed to be natural because I've been buying from the Czech Republic since 2003. And... I know what I'm doing, and I ain't going to sell you something that's not real, so don't you worry. All right, Nettie Sabado. Nettie Sabado. Hablas Espanol. Hablas Espanol with Italian accent. Look at that. That there has got some pretty nice patterns going on in there. The only mold of that I've got that's raw that I'm showing tonight is big pieces, and they range from 300 to 500. I don't have any small pieces prepared, but I will do my best to show you all of the good stuff. Looky there, that there's cabochon. It's good for your jewelry projects, and it's good for for putting under your pillar. And the polished mold of is awesome, Yvonne. I love it because when they dome the top, it makes the back. Um, what do you like zoomed? It's cool. It's like magnified. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm, I'm talking in my, my my celiac saying I can't come up with big words. It's like zoomed in and stuff. You know, magnified. That's too many syllables. I can't talk like that. All right, uh, we can do this. Here's another. Here's another one. This is a round one. It's got lots of bubbles in it. Look at that. It's like bubble heaven. It's like bubble tea. You could put it in your tea with some tapioca and it'd be nice, like bubble tea. Oh, come on. Stop. Stop getting all out of focus on me. Stupid thing. Come on now. All right. That one's 80. Yvonne, you need to find a partner, create some jewelry. You should do it. It's not hard. I don't know what kind of partner you're looking for for making jewelry, but there's lots of people. You could send them to, to, to India. They make lots of good thingies there. Or Indonesia. They're good people there. Oh, look at this one. This one is so cool because it's deep. Look at that. It's like all the way in there. It's because it's got this extra part on the outside. It's like it's like a knob. It got this thingy on the outside, and it goes deep in there. It's like so cool that they did that with the with the piece in that little hair on the top. That one's free. See, you get an extra hair for free. It's probably for my dog, and he's super cute. I have to show him to you one time. It would be awesome. You guys will love him. He's so cute. He's like the cutest dog ever. All right, that one's a hundred. That one's super special. Very nice piece. Very very nice piece. All right, what else have we got? I show all of them. Don't know if I've shown them all. I, I'm, I might be repeating myself, but you know what? I've got one skit and one set of accents, and I always repeat myself. So after a while, for me, I'm like a broken record. 
My dog is a half golden, half English retriever, and he's the coolest dog ever. I might have to go get him. He'll try. He'll eat all the paper in the room. It's funny. He'll just sit there and beg for paper and tissues, and he'll just. You give him one, and he'll rip it to shreds, and he'll beg for another one. He's so cute, though. He's he's adorable. He's almost a year. He'll be a year next Sunday, a week from today. He's the sweetest dog ever. He wakes us up every morning and jumps on the bed. He cries. He's like, I want to get on the bed with you. Come on, let me in. After a live show, he doesn't understand that we went to bed too late <laughs> and we need to sleep in. But the other day, he let us sleep in till nine, which is like super rare. I, I don't even remember the last time I slept at nine. That's crazy. It's like, who does that? I mean, not who does that, but once you have a kid, it's like, I don't know, I'm a morning person. This live show thing. I don't know what's going to happen in the winter because when the sun goes down, I want to go to sleep. So, like, when the winter comes around and the sun goes down at, like, 5 and I want to go to bed at, like, 6.30, but i got to show you guys all these rocks and I'm going to stay up till, like, 2. It's a problem because I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to become a night owl. It's all your fault. I might just have to have daytime shows, you know. You, who cares if you have a job? Just turn in and be like, sorry, boss, I got, to, I got to watch this funny guy. He sells these rocks all day long, but it's doing work, so, you know, you can piss off. I got to watch it. It's really important. Everybody can say that. You won't lose your job. I'll send you a doctor's note and be like, this person has to watch my life for their health because it makes them laugh. And if they laugh, then they live longer and they'll do better work for you. So you've got to give me, like, 2 p.m. or Easter time on Tuesdays. You know, you just got to let your people work and watch me at the same time. I'll give you a doctor's note. It'd be totally cool. All right, all right. <clears throat> that is all of the of the, the, the cut Moldavite that I have to show you. I think I showed them all. I've got more. I'm trying to be funny, but really I'm not. You know, everybody says that, but then they don't laugh at me enough. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm trying to be funny. But fuck, man, I, I, I haven't cursed enough at this show. Usually I curse a whole lot. You know, especially when I get when I get really like funny and frustrated and shit. I got I stopped talking about the truth, you know, and about all kinds of things like you know, like this symbol here. It's that little S there with one slash through it instead of two. That means that's like the original dollar. When they put a second slash through it, that's like the fake dollar. That's when they like turn the United States into a corporation, and then they like hijacked it so that we just were debt slaves and we're all chattel. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you need to look it up because it's not cool. But maybe everything's going to change. That's the truth. Everything's going to change for the better. The whole world seems like it's going to shit right now, but I promise it's going to be better. Look, that's a heart. You see that? Don't show my wife. Look, you see it? Look, it's a heart. I know it's it's damaged, but it's 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 damaged in the form of a heart. It's beautiful, you know. It's like it's that's what you want if you see if you got a little piece of marring on your motorbike. It better be a heart, as well. otherwise, you know, it's like not as good. So that's a pretty piece. It's nice. It's got good color. It's natural. It's not fake. I didn't make it with a mold. If I did, I'd be rich. Except nobody would want to do business with me because that's shady as shit and nobody should make fake Moldavite. I'm actually going to go to India. I'm going to take myself all the way to the place where they're making fake Moldavite. I'm going to raise hell and be like, what the fuck are y'all doing here? Do something else. Go make fake Azestulite or something. <laughs> Anyways, that one's three hundred and thirty dollars. If you really want it, I'll do it for three hundred. I know it's expensive, but for for a piece that size, to be honest, it's not easy to get these anymore. You know, I'm, I'm not. I'm just supposed to be doing lines get ritual. I tell you what, you're too angry. I'm sorry. I, I'll try not to make you angry, Yvonne. <laughs> I know it wasn't me. But let me let me tell you something about this Lionsgate thing. Everybody's like, oh, I need to be doing ritual. I think it's a hoax. I honestly think, yes, there's something about astrology and this, that. But if you do rituals, that's also a way for the archons and these, like, evil things that they can steal your energy. And they just, you know, you've got to be careful when we do these, like, moon rituals and things like that. Because, you know, we might be actually putting ourselves in a place of being more oppressed I know, it's not me. You're just here to, to... We're here to help you with your anger. Believe me, I've got plenty of it. I usually don't let it come out in the live shows unless people don't pay. <laughs>
that happens sometimes. I'm a little bit worried about the person who bought like tons of things on the live last Friday. She hasn't written me in two days. I'm like, oh shit, she's not going to pay her. I'm in trouble. If she doesn't write me tomorrow, I might have to get pissed. That's not cool. She bought like $1,500 worth of stuff and now she's because she's going to stuff me. So if that happens too often, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to do this anymore. One bad apple spoil it for everyone because I'm not going to be here wasting my time. You don't have to buy. It's not a problem. But if you buy and you don't pay, I'm going to lose my shit because I don't have to do this. Because we've got an Etsy shop that sells 300 things a day. And it's like, I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing this to show you all my best rocks. And they could all just go to Etsy. And it's not threatening. Y'all, I want to show you these. And I've saved plenty of good rocks for live shows. But I could just put them on Etsy and not do this. And it'd be a lot easier. But this is a little bit faster. The process for Etsy is so slow. Even though I've got many employees, it just it takes forever to get it up and all that. So I'll keep doing it. But, you know, all right, Yvonne, take some screenshots for later. I'll try to not, like, do this and stuff when you're doing that. And I really hope that you could not be angry. Anger's good, you know, sometimes. But, you know, you've got... You got to work it out. If there's anything I can do to help you with that, you know, like I could lend you a baseball bat and like some things you could smash. That's usually really helpful. I like to do that, except not really. But there's other things that are good, you know. If you're, you know, you could vent with the anger stuff. I, I I've gotten some pretty good at it. <clears throat> Crystal J at the moment. Yes, I know. Me too. I'm not supposed to buy anything, but I keep buying things. What you know? There's box I haven't yet opened yet. It's too many of them. We got too many rocks. I got carried away. Yes, this that one's like a smile. Yes, Joseph, it's like a smile. It's like the Cheshire cat. If you think about the moon that's out there, it's a new moon. You can't see shit, so you won't have, you won't see the Cheshire cat smile. But it's like a Cheshire cat smile. Yeah, baseball bat. It's good. I, I don't know. You're from California. I don't know. They don't let you do that stuff. But out here, when we get mad, we take out the pistols and we go blow shit up in the backyard. And if it's not good enough, we take out the ARs and we blow up more shit. It's really fun. We don't really do it very often, but every every so once in a while, you know, we have to tell the neighbors what's going on. <laughs> Everybody else does it. It's around 4th of July, it's hard to tell. Is it fireworks or is it firearms? It's, it's about the same out here. That's normal where we live. That's welcome to America, you know, it's all right. As long as nobody shoots anyone, unless they need to be shot because they're bad people. No, don't shoot bad people. Unless it's a bad government, you know, maybe we have to do that one day. But I hope it doesn't come to that. I think we don't have to worry about that. Shit's got to change for better. It might take a bit. But disclosure's coming. I'm, I'm, I have a feeling that shit's going to hit the fan. It might be this month. It might be September. Shit's going to, some weird shit's going to happen here. Like the sky's going to open up and we're going to be like, holy crap, what's going on? Like something's going to happen that we can't expect. And it's not necessarily going to be human. It's going to be the earth. The earth's going to be like, you ants are fucking up. We're going to shake you loose a little bit. We're going to tell you what's up. You know, like the sun will go away for like three days and we'll be like, oh, shit, what are we going to do now, mate? Anyways, that for 500 bucks is pretty good. It's got some damage on both sides and that's why it's 500. Because if it didn't have damage at that, that's probably 800, 1,000 bucks, like easy. And I'm going to turn that into a carving if you don't want it, which is fine. I'm going to, maybe that's Pickle Rick. I'm going to carve Pickle Rick out of that. Or maybe a dragon or something. It's a good piece. Just ignore that part. You can put, cap it, it's fine, you know, you wear it as a piece of jewelry. You put it in your pocket, it's like, it's like a crystal pistol here. Just kidding, just kidding. I probably freak you all out about that stuff, but it's all right. It's America, it's part of the deal. It's what happens. You know, I could go on about that, but it, it, some people probably wouldn't like to hear that. But, you know, it's good that we have guns. If we didn't, we'd be under complete and ultimate tyranny like the rest of the world who can't do anything. They can't do anything to us because we've got too many guns. That's true. They try to take them away and they're going to have a big problem. We're going to have a big problem because then we have no way to protect ourselves from the government. And then that's a big shit right there because the government can't do so much to us directly. They have to do it indirectly. And then that's just the way it goes. So it's a good thing. We'll see what happens, though. Hopefully the world will be great. We'll live in Shangri-La soon. We don't have to worry about that shit. We could just ascend to 5D and it'll be great. Oh, this is Phenakite, by the way. For those of you who are like, what the fuck is he showing? This is an awesome Phenakite crystal from the Ukraine. It's a very rare locality. It's not easy to find this locality at all. 
It's uh, from the same mine that produces the Heliodor. The Heliodor, those etched ones, I'm going to have to take some out of the safe for you for the next show because they're super. They're just the most ridiculous crystals you've ever seen, and they're not very big either, so they're like this, and they're pencils, and they're really good shape. It's another, it's a phenakite. It's an ice melter. It's super. It's good. It's an ice melter. Phenakite. I probably freaked all y'all guys out now. I should probably shut up and just show rocks now. Everybody's like, dang, man, you're talking about some shit, bro. You're kind of crazy. This guy's crazy, man. Gotta, gotta mix some truth in there, at least a little bit, right? Maybe it's my truth. If it's not your truth, that's cool. I respect that. All right, check these out. Much love, mate. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you making a comment. Hope you stick around. So this is papaya quartz from Madagascar from a couple years ago. I don't, I don't know exactly when it was dug. Doesn't really matter. But look at the color on this. This is like boom. You popped out for a second. It's all right. You're on rock. Uh, you're on rock uh, quarantine. I don't think it was a heart. Was this a heart? That's not really a heart, is it? It's kind of like a heart. And then there was that one, this one. Oh, that one's more like a heart, sort of. Well, maybe like that. There you go. There's your heart. Mm -hmm. That's a phenakite. It's from uh, it's from the Ukraine. And then here's the other one. That one's not the heart, but they're all really good. I just showed you all three of them, so that was one of them. It's two hundred, two twenty five, and two fifty. I don't remember. I don't know which one you you liked. It was a heart. If you really want it, you know that one. It's two fifty, two twenty five. That was really clear. Anyway. You have some interesting info about papaya quartz. Tell me. I, I love interesting info about quartz. I would love to know. I can't wait to see the doctor show me the covalite helolite combination. That would be sweet. Yeah, if you've got interesting info about papaya quartz, I am all ears and a big mouth. I have a big mouth. Yes, awesome phantoming. Awesome coloring, just ridiculous. And these are not expensive. Oh, there's a hair that we focus on. Get out of there, Moldavite. What are you doing? Grabbing my hair. Look at this. This is like a hugging twin. Check this out. They're like wrapped around each other. Heard the mine flooded and destroyed, so no more. I don't have information, but I will say this. That is a story that people who don't have information about what's going on the ground use that story a lot. Yeah, the mine's closed. It'll never happen again. And like sometimes it's totally true, but a lot of times people make shit up. It's a good marketing tactic to be like, yeah, man, the mine's closed and I got it all and nobody's ever going to get it again. And it's like people said that you can go look up witch's fingers. Like, seriously, go look at Witch's Fingers and you'll find it. Oh, the mine's closed and you can't get it anymore. And I'm sitting here like, I put an excavator there six months ago and it's not a mine. It's just some dirt and a hole in the ground. And I sent somebody there with an excavator and we dug a bunch of it. So it's like people make shit up so that you'll buy it. And that's what part of our mission is to provide accurate information about what's going on the ground, going on on the ground in many places because we've got contacts everywhere and we've got mining projects in lots of places i've been doing mining projects in zambia for like five years now and i've got all kinds of weird stuff that we've pulled out of the ground i showed a bunch of really nice limonite phantoms that are brand new in the last couple shows Stevo, who's oh, Stevo? I don't even know if it's on tv i don't know it because i don't have a tv i lost my tv in 2004 but i probably could I don't know anything about Stevo, but I, I take your word for it. I could probably do any kind of impression you want, but I need to practice some of them. Look at this one. This is family crystal. This is a tantric twin. They had all kinds of tantric things going on, and they had two babies. They were not sublimating good enough. They actually, they actually accidentally had two babies. And look, there's another one. This is a bun in the oven. This is a tantric twin family, and it has some balls in there, like little... Kaolinite balls. It's perfect. And there's some green. And look at the color. This is beautiful. This is definitely a twin. You see? One, two. Same stem. Stopping here. This is tantric twin. This is miscarriage here. They had crystal here, but it fell off. <laughs> 
this is anyway this is very special i opened this five minutes before the show i said i have to have some of these they've been sitting in a box at my house for like three months and they are wrapped really in a way that i cannot open very easy and i put away because i could not open it and it takes too long but just before the show i said i need to open these because everybody will love them and we sold one to Toulouse Le Trek, who is maybe not here anymore. Thank you very much, Mrs. Star Trek. I'm still going to whistle the Star Trek, I promise, but I cannot remember it. Uh, anyway, this one $75. This is the recap on this page here. So if you like this page, you need to buy something or not. And I will move it now. Uh, Nicole, will you move some things for me? Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, oh, my friend. Now we go to Japan. I take you to Japanese mineral show. Ohio in Japanese means good morning. In the good morning, it's a, in Japan, now it's a, oh, actually in Japan it's noon, so it's no longer morning. But I tell you Ohio and the Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hi. Okay, my friend. Now, now we go to China. I tell you, China have all of the rock. They take everything. They buy all so you cannot have. China have all the rock. They is very, very good, very powerful. They is, I have to buy from China sometime because they buy already everything. So better sometimes buy from China, cheaper price than Africa from Africa stone. Not always, but sometimes they have a very strict grading system and they make all the money on the very, very top 1%. They put a very extra 230 on top and they get crazy price. So then everything is low, low quality, very good price. So I do, I do very good business in China. And I have many customers. I sell many sugi light to Chinese people. I sell them maybe $2 million already. Sugi light. Sugi light, their favorite. I have love affair with sugi light. Oh, I talk too much. This is Thulite. T-H-U-L-I-T-E from Greenland. Thulite. Very powerful metaphysical stone. Everybody like a Thulite. I cannot tell you what it does. You have to look it up. Judy Hall will tell you. Melody will tell you. Bob Simmons will tell you. And there's like 200 new books that are coming. That's a very crazy sugi light. This is not sugi light. This is thu light. If this was a sugi light, I'd be a very rich man. It's not a $40. This sugi light is $4 million. This is thu light. T-H-U-L-I-T-E. From Greenland. Greenland stone all have very good energy. Very powerful stone. Greenland people very good, I think. Maybe there's some bad things there, but not the people. All the bad things in the cave on the ground. <laughs> okay, this is full light. This forty. Forty forty dollars is a good price for you. I'll make it a special special price tonight for you. Yes, a full light. Don't be a fool. <laughs> It's from Thule, T-H-U-L-E. You know, like the thing you put on top of your car when you need more storage? That's, that's the, the, the area, the, the city that this comes from. Thule. It's Thuleite from Thule. That's a very nice. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate you. This is $40. It's the good price. Trek, Toulouse Le Trek is good. You need to buy because it's only $40. This one, $25. This one, heart. I have two hearts. If you like a heart. Through light. Oh, Norway. Shit. He's from Norway. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. Greenland. Thank you for correcting me. I, sometimes I act like I know everything and I don't. And I am very, very grateful that you corrected me. I won't forget. Now it's from Norway. Before it was from Greenland... But now it's from Norway. Doesn't it also come from Greenland? Anyways, this is Thulite from Norway. 
See, I'm, I'm willing to be wrong. I'm accepting my faults. This is a part of healing your shadow. It's to accept when you're wrong. And to look at it and be like, it's okay to be wrong, Rusty. Yes, new might is from Greenland. But the thing is, is that I bought new might and tug to pipe all and the foo light all from the same person. And he probably told me that it was all from Greenland. And I forgot. But you're right. You're right. Thulite is from Norway. Numite. I have really good Numite, like super good Numite. Um, really good cavachons and some slabs. Anyways, those are my Thulites. Don't be a Thule. You need to buy some Thulite. Go look it up. Everybody likes it. Okay, now we move on to Witch's Fingers. And I will tell you... Witch's Fingers, this, this batch is very different from most of the Witch's Fingers that I've gotten in the past, and I've gotten quite a number of them. Ah, beginner geologist and gemologist. Okay, good. Very good. I will teach you one thing about studying gemology and geology. The most important thing is to go out into the field and travel the world and go to the mineral shows and you will learn a lot. You can learn a lot from your books and in your classes. But somehow I have more accurate information about many things than the people who study in the books. And I'm not trying to brag because I don't know very much. But I have these people all the time who are like, my uncle's a geologist and he told me that that rock is fake. And I'm just like, dude, I know where it came out of the ground. And I know it's not fake. Just because your uncle's a geologist and he thinks he knows everything because he studied it in a book and he's got a degree doesn't mean that he knows as much as somebody who's been in the hole. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to vent. <laughs> That's my form of venting. Anyways, that's got a bunch of stuff in there. This is uh, zelwigite and actinolite and tremolite and rutile and straw and schmutzite. Um, so if you're a new geologist, you've got to learn this mineral. Schmutzite and squigolite are very, very valuable minerals. Is there another name for witch's fingers? I don't think so. I've always called them witch's fingers. It's got stuff inside. Like there's all the minerals and stuff, but I don't think it's called anything else. So this is more traditional. Oh, stop shaking the phone, Rusty. Jeez, they're trying to watch. You're going to give them like a seizure and stuff. Like, have a seizure. Um, anyway, so this is what it looks like. Uh, they, they call them witch's fingers because of these knobs. It's got knobs on the outside, like mica knobs. You know, that's a bad word in England. They talk about knobs and you're like, hey, I'm not supposed to say that word. But in English, in America, a knob is not the same thing. So we can talk about it without people being like, oh my God, he's being rude. So it's got all the thingies inside. It's got schmutzite. It's a very technical term. You can look it up on Mindat. Actually, I said the other night, I was offered an opportunity to be on the board of Mindat. And I was very, very, um, I was appreciative. I didn't take the offer because I don't have the time for it. I didn't want to let them down. Yes, no, you're on. You want to know what's up? The people who literally have only looked at like 10 rocks online and they're like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. I saw it online, especially Moldavite. Fucking hell, man. I've seen 10 pictures of Moldavite, so I know yours is fake. They come on this site and they tell me this shit. And I'm like, dude. And then you know what they do? They go on and they go to my friend's website, Innervision Crystals. He's one of my best friends. We share information. I'd se I, I've even sold him Moldavite. And they go on his site and they send me his page of what fake Moldavite looks like. And half the pictures on his page came from my travels. And I'm like, you fucking idiot, man. You're telling me that I don't know what I'm talking about. And my Moldavite's fake. And he showed me the site. It's got all my pictures on it. And they don't get it. They're just like, no, you don't know what you're talking about. You're selling me fake Moldavite. And I don't feel it, so it's got to be fake. I'm like, well, you need to shove it up your ass if you can't feel it. Because that's what's got to make you feel it. Because you can't feel anything. Sorry, I'm venting now. It's really bad. I should be nicer. But these people, man, they drive me fucking crazy. It's all TikTok, too. It's like, oh, I'm 17. I know everything about Moldavite because I saw it on TikTok. 
All right, sorry, schmutz, sorry, I'm, I'm going to stop venting now. I do that like every show, but it has to happen because every week we deal with some shithead who's like, oh, I know more than you. I've been studying rocks. Oh, get this, this one today. There was a lady on one of my friend's pages. It was a papagoite, and she said it was died. She said, I'm sorry, that's died. And like 10 people were like, no, it's not, and sent her links. And she said, I've been in this business for 37 years, and you don't know what you're talking about. That's died. And she's like, no, that's actually Ahoy. It's not Papagoite. And we all were just like, oh, fuck, man, you've got to be kidding me. 37 years, what you did? Were you fucking sleeping in the whole business for 37 years? You've been in this business 37 years and you can't identify shit. And you're telling everyone else who knows what they're talking about that you know and they don't. Oh, my God, these people, I swear. And she wasn't a teenager. She was obviously really knowledgeable because she'd been in the business 37 years, but she didn't know jack shit. These are the kind of people that make me crazy. Anyway, this is a good witch's finger. Look at all that schmutzite in there. It's got shit alight in there too. It's 40 bucks. You can't go wrong with it. It's got, it's got the thingies in there. I made my wife laugh. It must have been a good joke. There's schmutzite and shit alight. There's no squiggle light in there because it's not squiggly. Squiggle light does this where it does the little squiggles. You know, that's very technical and super rare, especially when it comes from me. It's even more rare when it comes from me. You know, that means it's worth more because, you know, I know what I'm talking about because you, I've seen 15 pictures online. All right. Here we go. You've got to buy one of these. You know what? We haven't gotten to the witch's fingers that are different yet. There's five or six in here that are totally different. Well, they're not totally different. They're slightly different. It's like nothing I've seen before. These are more ordinary. Ordinary is not bad, though. Yeah, squig a light, hey, hey, a light. you got the best, uh, the, the, what's that, uh, emoji, yes, yeah, squig a light, it's like a good espresso. Called the Magdalena Stones, cool, all right, I'll use that. I love it when people make up names for things, you know, especially if it's cool. Magdalena, Nicole, they're calling Witch's Fingers Magdalena Quartz. Why? Interesting. I'm, why? They're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding they're beautiful but why i want to know what do they call it magdalena stone for i mean i know you've got you make something up some people channel it and they're like oh that's magdalena mary came and visited me and, and she said call it after me magdalena and that's totally legit people do that and i don't knock them i think it's awesome that people do that but sometimes they're like hey let's come up with something so it'll sell it doesn't matter what it is it'll just be something that sounds cool you know that's bob simmons for you hey let's call it let's call it ascensionite yes ascensionite this will make me this will make you ascend all right look at this one this one is awesome it's double terminated if you don't buy this i'm gonna keep it that's my best my best marketing is when I say that, so, you know, I'm full of shit, don't actually take me seriously when I say that, but it is a good rock, it's double terminated, look at that side, and then look at that side, and then it's got all the thingies that you want, it's a taper, look, it's like, like that, it might be even like got some shape to it that you call it some funny name, you know, like, I don't know, it's not a dowel, but it's got the thingies, it's got them, the stuff inside that you want, yeah, Yvonne, it's a good one, it's only 50 bucks, C1467, but you, I know you're in rock prison, so it's all right. We won't force you to buy anything. I won't force anyone. It's very technical, the thingies. The thingies, no, thingies are with an F. Thingies. It's not thingies, it's thingies. You've got to get it right. If it's got the thingies in it, maybe that's a wand. A wand is usually longer than that, but it could be because it's tapered. Either way, it's a good rock. It's got the thingies in there it's it's beautiful it's it's a magdalena you know that one's like that one's like jesus to magdalena right there it's perfect all right there's four five six six more of these and these are different cats can't eat crystals you, you, you need you know what you need to come to my class because in the class we're going to teach the cat to eat the crystals too did you hear about my class we came up with this at the last show Oh, some folks frown upon the word witch, the only reason it was renamed. Yeah, you know, I get that. But what? What was wrong with being a witch? You know, I know if you, I mean, I guess if you, you know, some people don't like it, but most people who like crystals are really into witches. I don't care either way. It's just they called it that because of the knobs on the outside. You know, the first person who found it, he was like, those look like warts, like witch's fingers. Oh, so he called it witch's fingers. It was actually named by somebody who was not very physical, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, look, this is super different for this uh, Magdalena quartz. I like that. It's good. I'm going to start calling it that. 
Magdalena quartz. It's just that I don't know. It's got a green color to it, like a chloride inside. And then it's got, I don't know how to describe why it's different. Maybe there's longer needles in there. It's kind of metallic. You know, they've done some research on this. There's like four, five or six different minerals in there. I can't name them all. There's one that's with, the, with a Z, Zelwig guy, I think. Something like that. Anyway, it's new. This is a new type. I just had this come back from my cleaners and it was dirty before it left. And I was like, oh, what's that? When it, when it came back, it was awesome. I was like, shit, that's totally new. Except it's not a new deposit. It's just a new type. So that one's 40 bucks. And uh, here's the next one. This one, maybe a little bit more traditional, if you can call it that. The traditional ones have just got lots of crust on it. But this one, it's got some rainbows up in there, and it's got all the thingies that you want. The thingyite. Oh, I forgot to finish my story. Yeah, so I was invited to be on the board of Mindat because they, they thought I have lots of information and knowledge, and I was like, I really appreciate it. I'm very honored, but I don't know that much. I know a little bit. You think I know more than I, more than I do, but that's because I can repeat what I've heard. You know, I don't really know that much. I, I'm I'm going to admit it right now to you. I don't know that much. Oh, but oh, so your cat, uh, Yvonne, about your cat. We're going to start this new class where you where you don't need to eat food anymore. We're going to teach you to breathe and take in all the prana, and we're going to teach you to eat rocks. So that you can like buy more rocks because you don't need to buy food. It's this brilliant class I came up with it. And it's like, we're going to do it. We might even do it for free. It's going to be like, we're going to breathe a lot and we're going to swallow some rocks. And you're going to learn to digest the rocks and slowly. And that way you don't need to eat food. And so you can buy more rocks. Isn't that a good class? It's a brilliant idea. I came up with it myself. My wife's telling me to shut up now. So I better stop. Shut your pie hole, she said. Look, so this has got the Lemurian lines here. This is like straight out of Lemuria, except it's probably not, but it might be because it's got them lines. This is coding, you know. If you do this like here, pew, pew, you could like shoot the information out across the wall. If you had a projector, I could go like this and be like, pew, 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 what you have to show me? And it would be like, you need to shut your mouth, Rusty. You're being an idiot. You don't have enough information in your head and you are just rattling off some crazy shit. You're being crazy, trying to make people laugh and you're not doing anything. Well, that Lemurian just handed that me. He just handed my ass to me. i tell you what, that one there, that one's $50. That one's projector quartz. You put up there and there on that wall. And it'll just tell you what you got here. And no filter. That's the no filter quartz. It'll just tell you, you're being a jerk. You need to fix that shit. That's what it'll tell you. Be like, stop being a jerk. These are from Zambia. And I should have a better loca locality than that. I could get a better locality than Zambia. All right, so I probably should have done this on the other ones. You see that green? This is what makes these a little different. It's like... It's probably in the actinolite family, so it might just straight up be actinolite. But I haven't seen greenish ones before. It's got all the straw-looking stuff in there. And so it's kind of greenish. Some of these other ones. Where was that other one? This one here. Let me do that with this one. That one's kind of greenish, too. No, I think it's actinolite. Chloride doesn't grow in needles, and I'm pretty sure these are all needles. And it's a whole family of minerals that does these needles. And there's some common ones and there's some not common ones. There might be some chloride in there too. Like actually here, look at this. Like that. Uh, can you see the color? Uh, I don't know. I'm here. I'm trying to do this. Like here, expand, rock. Come on, get fat, get closer. That right there. Um, that's green. I don't think that's chloride though. That's probably mica. It's probably a green mica. All right, I'm showing you lots of rocks, you guys, and you're not excited about them enough to buy them. It's going to make me cry. <laughs> I'm so sad. Look, this one's like a, almost like a Lemurian. It's got some lines here. Velvet malachite. Yeah, we've got some of that, a little bit. Yes, this material is very energetic. It's awesome. I've got all kinds of sizes too, big ones. Not these clear ones like this. These don't come too big, but I've got a bunch of them right now. Um... But I don't know how many are good like this because I didn't open them all yet, but they're really nice. 
Yeah, yeah, for witches' fingers or for Magdalena quartz, or whatever you want to call it, it's pretty good for clarity. It doesn't come like this. They're usually like this. That's normal, where it's just like you can't see inside very much. But the clarity is really good for this location. We might be getting into some different stuff there. There might be some uh, honey-coloured citrine coming out from this area as well. But I can't take it all right now. I've got to sell some of the stuff so I could fund with more money. But I've got this Amatrine project going on there. I'm going to bring like 20,000 kilos of Amatrine out of this deposit in Zambia. It's all big clusters. It's pretty cool. It's got amethyst and citrine and smoky quartz phantoms all in the same crystal. It's pretty neat. I'll show you sometime, but I don't have a lot of it right now. But I've got a lot sitting in Zambia waiting to come down. But it costs a lot to move it. It costs a lot to clean it. So we just bring a little bit of time. Anyways, I'm talking too much. That one's 55. Clarity's really good. I've got one more Magdalena quartz to show you. That's so funny. Magdalena, that must have been the Christians who were like, no, we can't call it witches' fingers because we're into Christ and witches are bad and Christians don't like Christ. And, you know, I ain't got no problem with crystals and I ain't got no problem with Christians either. But... It's so, it's so funny, like, oh, witches are so bad. It's just like, man, it's all, it's all, it's all in the, in your intent. If you've got good intent, it's all good. I will do that, cryo beatbox. I'll do that. I have some, maybe for the next show, we'll say the 8th, and then it's the 15th, and then the next one's the 22nd, we'll be going on vacation, and the 29th. So I'm, I'm only going to have one more live show this month. It's going to be this one and then one next weekend. And I'm going to take probably two weeks off because i got to give you guys time to save some money because, you know, Yvonne is in jail and she's like, I love all your rocks, but I can't buy anything right now. And I can't make you because that's not cool. But Yvonne, you're here, you're talking, you've got to buy rocks so I'm going to be mad. Like, no, it doesn't work like that. You've got to save your money. You've got to be ready to buy the rocks. All right, look at this. This is totally a witch's thing, but it's got hematite. I've never seen that before. Jesus was a musician, a musician, and a magician, and he was a yogi. That's the part, you know, that's the, that's the biggest beef I got with Christianity. And I don't have a beef with lots of things and people, whatever. Everybody's got belief system. It's fine. You can believe whatever you want. But the thing is, is that Jesus' is half of his life was gone. They don't even have it. It's like, how can you believe something when you know that half of the guy's life, they got it locked in the Vatican Library and they won't tell you anything about it? Well, people who did the research and they did some information and they looked at some things and they realized that Jesus went to India and he studied yoga and he knew how to do all these awesome things because he, you know, he probably brought it in with him anyways from like past lives and other dimensions and shit. But he went to India to study yoga and he was like, came back and he performed all these magic things and that was so cool. But half his life is locked in the Vatican Library and it's just like, how can you believe this? It's obviously a control mechanism. Christ is amazing. Christianity, uh, I ain't know. Organized religion is a problem for me. But to each their own, it's not a problem for anybody else. And you know what? I don't judge anybody. I don't care. You do what you want. Just be a good person. That's the only thing that works. That's what you need to do is be a good person. If you're not a good person, you can fuck off in my book. I don't care if you I don't care what you study or what you like. You got a ism, it's fine. I got an itch. It's good enough. All right, this is the last witch's finger that I've got for you. Look at how different it is. It's got that taper like the other one. It's got the schmutzite. It's got hematite, which is different. The red, I thought it was from this other pocket, but it's not. It's, I thought it was something else, not uh, not this stuff, but it is. It's a witch's finger. It took me a while to figure it out. And the reason I thought it was something else is because that hematite, because I've got these two. They came in from my cleaner at the same time. Oh, that's the best one. I want to show you that one first. Anyways, that's the witch's finger. If you don't like it, tough. You've got to like it. But you don't have to buy it if you don't want to. It's fine. I won't be offended. But I might not show them again. <laughs> Anyways, I've got a little bit more to show you. I've got one more hour. Where's all the people? There's only 12 people. We usually have like 20. You all need to go tell all your friends. Be like, hey, come listen to this guy. He's talking some shit. He's, he's kind of funny and he's stupid at the same time. He makes fun of himself. It's great. All right. So this is red hematite phantoms in quartz. And it's not from Orange River. Orange River is pretty awesome. But it's not. From Orange River, this is from Zambia. 
and it's super cool. It rivals Orange River pretty good. And it's like, look at that. It's got some red hematite. It's good, good, good. It's nice quartz. It's got the red. It's got what you want in it if you want hematite. It's very grounding. That one is $38. How can you go wrong? If that was from Orange River, it'd be a lot more. Maybe. I don't know. I'm losing my voice. I gotta stop talking. I can't know. I'm gonna go on for one more hour, and that's about it, and then we're done. I've only got like 10 more rocks to show you, then I have to go into another flat. This is more hematite. All of Africa has all the good stones. Malawi has great stones. There's nowhere in Africa that doesn't have good stones, except for in the Sahara. But there's even good stones in the Sahara, but it's not everywhere. They got good things in the Sahara too. They've got meteorites and prophecy stones and Libyan desert glass. Is that the Sahara? It might as well be. That shit's awesome. We had some amazing Libyan desert glass we showed the other night. Like the best I've ever seen. It was so fun. We even discounted it and people went ape shit. They were like, oh my God, all oh, this is so cool. All right, where's everyone? Y'all, let's get a roll call. Who's still here? Because none, none, nobody's speaking except for Yvonne. And, and Shine On Your Crazy Diamond, she's here. And, and Cryo Beatbox is still here. What about the other regulars? They've got to be here still. Or, you're not. I probably tapped out. They bought too much stuff from me the last couple of weeks. They're like, we've got to leave. He's showing too many good rocks. And we're gonna, we can't stop. We, we can't resist. That's the problem. I can't resist either. That's why I keep showing them to you. So. All right, there we go. Clean Palacio, Palacio, Palacios. Clean the Palacios. Bobby Frey's here. Oh, yeah, sweet. Welcome. Don't know how you've been here. All right. Toulouse, Lutrec. Toulouse, Lutrec. Alrighty, look, there's some hematite. This multicolored hematite. There's pink, black, and red hematite all in there in the same crystal. It's got good luster. Look at that. It's flying all over the place with the sun. It's not a sun, but you know what I mean. It's got luster. It's got the thingies. It's got all the things you want. Hola, amigos. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy bien. Espero que estás bien también. All right, that was thirty dollars. I got six more of these. <clears throat> yeah, it was almost. I'm I'm losing my voice here, so I can't whistle very good. It's close enough. It's close enough. Come on. Yeah, look at that. It's got the it's got the stuff in there too. It's all stuffy in there, stuffed up full of hematite. That's pretty. This is very grounding. What I like about this one is it's got, it's a little bit hard to see, but inside of this crystal, it's got some specular hematite in the bottom. It's neat. This is a cool locality. It does some really weird shaped stuff. It's got neat, neat inclusions. It's very grounding. Makes you really sleepy. That one's 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Grounding stones are super important, especially for everybody who's like into ascension. Like, I want to fly. I want to ascend. I want to like do all this stuff. It's like, if you're not grounded, you're not going anywhere. You got to be grounded in order to lift off. That's the catch. It's polarity, man. You can't get out of polarity unless you're ready to let go of your body and float away. All right, red and black hematite. Look at this phantom. Very good phantom quartz. It is perfect nature made perfect crystals. Look at this white quartz, red quartz. <clears throat> I showed some really good hematite crystals earlier. You must have seen those. Those were amazing. Okie dokie. This very nice crystal. This one is $50. $50 crystal. Very nice.
And the next one is this one. Look, it's like the phantom disappear. Oh, very good. And the back side is phantom, you can see. Very nice. The red quartz for the grounding, amplifying the grounding. It's like family reunion of quartz here with the hematite. This one also fifty dollar. Number one four four eight. <laughs> almost, almost a little better that time. I didn't really watch Star Trek very much, so I'm kind of going on a memory that's not there. <laughs> and this another family of hematite. Hematite phantom crystals with the white schmutzelite and crapolite. Look, this is twin here. Very nice twin. This one, Almost got it. All right, this one is my favorite one. Just because it's just so succinct and perfect. And it's not busy. It's like, look at me, I'm a painting. <gasps> mm. So it's got like the dots in the front half of the phantom and the red on the back half of the phantom. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's my pick of the night of this material. And the last one of this material oh this one is <clears throat> this one is interesting this material is, does very funny thing where phantom growth is different shape than outside growth it's very strange sometimes most times phantoms mimic the growth of the crystal and in this location it does whatever it wants on the inside it's just like we're gonna go over here we're gonna go over we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go over there. It's okay. It's pretty cool. And there's the size. And there is the prize. Oh, I hear the dog. Haha, <laughs> you got you have to meet Yogi. Come here, Yogi. Let's see. Let me see. Hey, come here. Who's that? Oh, there's a boy. Give me bite my hand. Oh, bite my hand. Hi. Give me that. Oh, yes. Sit up. Oh, there's a good boy. Oh, there's a good boy. Hey, Yogi. What's up? That's my boy. My dog boy. <laughs> bite me. Good boy, kiss. 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 This a good boy. This is a good boy. He can't take my napkins today, that's right. Okay, go. Alrighty, that's the dog. That's the one who eats all the paper. He's 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 awesome. All righty, now what? I got prophecy stones. You want to see that? What about the 
got really nice Libyan desert glass. If you saw the last show, you probably already saw it. Um, I've got some wholesale lots if you're interested in that. Maybe I should show that. I've got some polished stuff too, but it's over there. Thank you, King Joseph. So this lot, this is double A grade. Uh, let's get, let's start with the other ones here. Libyan Desert Glass, this is wholesale. We'll start with this one. This is the lowest grade. Well, it's not the lowest grade, but it's the lowest grade I have. So that's $150 for 100 grams. And it looks like this. It's very good material. It's got good shape and good markings and such. It's a little bit more milky. Oh, you missed him, Yvonne. He's gone. Sorry. You have to go back and look. He's so cute. He'll come back. Maybe. Anyway, so that's $150 for 100 grams on that one. This one's got a little bit of color in it. And then the next grade up is this one. This one is $200 for 100 grams. And that's got some good pieces in there. Look at that one. And here's the other ones. It's nice stuff. Nice stuff. There's some double A in there and some A. And that's a good lot. It's a good price for 100 grams. You definitely can make money on that. And then the top grade is what is this one? This one's three hundred fifty dollars. It's all select pieces. It's all got clarity and good shapes, cristabolite, and all that. Could probably do that for three hundred tonight if you wanted it. It's a nice lot. All right, so 150, 200, and 300 on those. And then we've got Columbianite. I've got individuals of Columbianite too, if you want to see it. Got some really good ones, that are be even better than this, but this is 250 grams for $400. And they all, they all have good, good uh, what you call it, transparency. Anyway, you get the you get the point. That's a good lot for making money. And this one also, this is 250 grams. It's 300. Same quality, a little bit different in shape. It's a more um, less round. They're all still complete, but they don't have as much round shape. And that one there, Colombianite. Oh, Emily, where have you been all night, dear? Yes, you did miss some Molivite, but you know what? I'll show it to you if you want. I got some big ones. So anyways, there's some Colombianite wholesale lots if you want them. Look, I haven't shown this yet. It's been sitting on my table for a long time, so I might as well show this really quick. This is Larvacrite, and it's a big one. It's like big old skull face. Here, you can see the little thingies on there. See that? It's like, it's like the thingies. Anyway, it's a big old skull. If you like that, we can sell you that one. Okay, okay. Okay, Emily. I will show you the Moldavite. Again, I think this is third time, but you know what? It's okay, because I don't have anything else to show. <laughs> we will only be going backwards. Okay, I start here, we do this again. And this is... Thank you, shine on your crazy diamond. Shine on you crazy... Have a good night. Appreciate you. We will send you a private message. Dun, dun, dun. Anyways, Emily, 
for you, Moldavite. There's that one. There's a couple of cabochons here. This is a really good one. It's got the thingies. What's the material on that skull? That is, uh, that's larvikite, I believe. Shine on you, crazy diamond. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me in my ludicrous attitude and entertaining me. That's uh, We appreciate you. We'll be back next Sunday night. Anyways, Emily, I don't know if you like these cabochon thingies or if you just want to see the big pieces. I've got a couple of big pieces there. I've got like five cabochons like this, maybe six. Six cabochons and four big pieces. That's all I've got for Moldavite tonight. Look, look at this one. This one's really cool. Oh, get out of the way, light. It's got like a different depth to it. It's because it's got this thingy on the back there. Oh, that was 100. All right, raw. She likes it raw. That's good. So there's a little bit of damage on these. I have to be upfront about it, but they're priced accordingly. Obviously, it's hard to get and expensive to get the big ones these days. So I'm just going to be upfront about it. We got this one here. It's got a little bit of stuff there. It's not too bad. And that one is 11 grams. $330, really good color. And then I've got this one. This one's like the Cheshire Cat Smile. Here's the color. <laughs> the cabs are fantastic, yes. Here's the other side. It's got a little bit there. That's the only spot. It's got a little, a little dips there. It's a good one. And that one is 11, 12, almost 12 grams. That one's 300. That's a pretty, pretty big surface area for a 12 gram piece. Most of them like that, like 20 grams. And then this one. It's got this little spiral in here. It's like a like a little spiral thingy. It's like an ammonite. It's like a like a like a yoni bowl for like the lingam. You know, it's got like the little spiral thingy. It's like that. It's cool. Anyways, and then there's this here, and it's got this. It's got that going on. That one is 300 as well. I had these all for carving, is what I was going to do with them, which I might still do that. This one's Pickle Rick. It's like a pickle. It's, it's got stuff going on here. Let me see, where is it going? There. A little bit and there a little bit it's nice it's twisted it's got a curve in like two directions and that one is 500 and that is all the mold of art that i've got to show tonight i don't have a lot of raw all the raw mold of art i have that's available is on my Etsy shops, with the exception of tiny little chips and other pieces who have a little bit buggered up and whatnot. I might have some random piece here, or someone there. There's, there's always something around. I know I've missed some, this, but, but I don't have a lot. I haven't bought the roll in a, in a minute because it keeps going up in price and I keep being like, oh, bother, what am I going to do? Pay more. It's the only thing I can do is pay more. Pickle Rick, all right, Emily, you are my favorite person right now. I'm so grateful for you. That's 1439. I got it. Emily the Fay, Pickle Rick. All right. Archaic amulets. Did you hit that button on purpose? You really want me to be in here? You want to be in here with me because I'm really foolish. I could turn you on. 
And then we could talk and we could be stupid together, but I don't know you, so we probably shouldn't. All right, Emily, what else can I show you? I got more, a whole new batch of Ahoite and Papagoite. Let me show you some of these. This is a good one. Yes, thank you for that claim. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, 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 That's probably the best papago I've got. That's not polished. That's, that's, that's pretty. It's got a lot of color. Oh, we just we determined this one has ahoite in it too. Ahoite. There's a little bit right there. And my wife found somewhere. A little bit there and there. Ahoite. And of course, lots of papago There's some more right there. Ahoite. 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 That's what they say in, in, in South Africa. They call it Ajawite. You got any of that Ajawite? But? You got any Ajawite? But? but? Alright, that one's a thousand dollars. That's a lot of colour. It's pretty sweet. Alright, let me let me pull this on over here. I'll we'll show it again. I'll show it Can again. You help? I always need help, but my the help that I need is psychological. I don't know if you can help me with that. Oh, stop! Stop it! Oh, oh wait, stop running! All right, there we go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got some more to show you. Oh wait! Oh shit! Where'd that go? Oh, that was a cabochon. All right, and then there's this one. All right, Emily, this is probably the best Ahoite uh, single point that I've got. And it's got native copper there. And it's got really good color there. Let me zoom in. It's got the hematite and the kaolinite balls, more hematite and ahoite, and lots of native copper there. Like complete full phantom on this side for native, native copper, or at least a half phantom. It's a twin. It's got, there's two crystals there. Some people like to call that a tantric twin. Maybe it's not, I don't know. But it's definitely a twin. Brazilian style twin. A Brazil habit twin. Anyways, that one is 350, 14, 19. That's the best Ahoite crystal that I've got. But I do have some other good ones. Oh, this one's cool. This is a Papagoa. It's a heart. I'm not supposed to show this again. My wife was like, no, just kidding. She's got a good one. I've got a really good Papagoite heart, actually, in the collection. I think there's a little bit of Ahoite in there, too, in the middle. It's hard to tell. But there's that one. That one's super, super cool. That one's 250. It's nice, celestial type. Good luster. Lots of epidote on the outside. That's how you find it. Oh, there's a heart here, too. Look at that. That's how you find the papagoite when they're looking on the ground. The signals that you look for is you look for the epidote, the green epidote on the ground, and where that crosses with the hematite, then you can find the papagoite. That's how you find it. You, you find those two minerals together. That one's 80, a little bit of color. That one's double terminated. Come on, light, quit it. All right, this one. This one is a hundred. That one's also double terminated. It's a nice jewelry point. It's got a little bit on the back there, but you can still do something with it. Oh, this one, yes. This is a tabular crystal, it's double terminated. It's got that schmutz off the back. It probably could come off. Look, it's tabby. There's the termination there. And there's a termination there. It's a little bit dirty still. It's got nice kaolinite. And then some ahoite in there. And some hematite. Different colored hematite. More ahoite in there. That one is 120, 14, 21. And there's this little guy. This one's pretty good. That one's 100. Nice color. 
It's got all the thingies. This one's got lots of luster and clarity, and it doesn't have the schmutz on the back, but it's got a little bit of a little bit of stuff on the back here. It's got a little stuffed on the back right there, but it's all right. It's beautiful crystal. It's more clear. Uh, this one here is a floater. It's just a conglomeration of crystals, a little bit of ahoite there, and the double terminated, and this is double terminated, double terminated. All right, it's all double terminated. It's a floater. It doesn't attach to a wall anywhere. My handwriting's terrible. That says 70. That one. And that was pretty much it. There's a little guy. That's also a floater. That one's 88. And there's this guy. It's Papago Eye. It's a really neat cluster. It's like a flower. It's like a flower. You just put it with the other flowers here. Alrighty. There's a couple of cabochons there too. That's all the Ahoite. 1419. I think I'm going to snake him. 1419. Which one was that? Yes, that's the one. 14, 19, this is the best one. That's the one I showed you first. Native copper, kaolinite, two colors of hematite, ahoite, little epidote, good phantom. Nice twinning, twinning right there. That one's pretty. All righty, 11.30. All righty, Emily, thank you. Much appreciated. There you go. Bless you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All righty, what else can I show? We've already shown all of that. I've got anything else. Uh, bum, 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 bum. show these. Let's do these. Let's do these honk honkers. Don't know who's seen these already. I showed these a couple of times. Yeah, of course. We get those out to you as fast as we can. I think that last batch you got a little quicker this time because I sent it three day instead of ground. Got on my people about that first one. I was like, man, that was a big order. Y'all should have shipped that three day. Sorry, that first order took so long. <laughs> yeah, wow, this is a killer. This is, um, doesn't really get much better than this for desert glass. That's a honker. It's, it's beautiful. It's got, wow. it's got all the thingies in it too. All the thingies that you want. It's called, this is called regmaglyphs. Regmaglyphs from traveling through the atmosphere and it's got the cristabolite the crystal ball light it's perfect and it's a beautiful beautiful piece you're the best emily we couldn't do it without you actually we could because we are but we really appreciate you now the live shows you really supported us we're really grateful we're very glad that you're here and uh, tonight is no exception. Thank you. We're doing our best 
to send you things quickly and show you all the good stuff. In addition to running a crazy Etsy shop, which is bonkers and off the wall. Right now it's a little bit slow because it's summertime, but I'm telling you, in December we're going to ship out 10,000 packages and I'm a little bit nervous because it's going to be fucking crazy. Like no joke, we're going to ship 10,000 packages. Probably more because we're going to give, we're going to have a huge Moldavite giveaway. I'm going to give away like 2,000 pieces of Moldavite for Christmas. Little tiny ones, all right? Tiny, tiny, like quarter of a gram pieces, but I've got to plan. I'm going to find a thousand people who need Moldavite for free and we're going to break the internet. That's what we're going to do. We're going to totally break the internet. So look forward to that. We're going to start with a slow rollout. We're going to do that in September. We're going to start giving away Moldavite like five pieces a day. And then when November comes around, we're going to start increasing it. We're going to send, we're going to give away 25 pieces of Moldavite every day for like 40 days or something. That's a lot of Moldavite. Look at that piece, that's just stupid. That's so stupid, it makes me look smart. Oh my God, that's crazy. Look at this. I think you said Moldavite. Did it, what, Moldavite, what are we talking about? This? Yeah. I was talking about Moldavite, this oh. is not Moldavite. If this was Moldavite, that'd be even better. That'd be sweet, it'd be like, wow, dude, that's the fakest Moldavite ever. <laughs> Yes, this we printed this with our three D printer in the back. We just uh, we threw some moldavite in there, and it just diluted it, so it came out yellow instead of green. Just kidding. November. It looks like your message sent before you finished it. Your birthday, yes. Which day? Me too. November birthdays are the best. Emily, that pace is crazy. I wish I had a billion of those. That pace is so cool. I probably shouldn't have sold it because it was in my oh, collection, but it's all right. I just say it all the time. Uh, it, I'm so happy memories. you got that. Nicole says she has good memories of that piece. I think that piece was on our mantle for like six years or something. It was so such an beautiful. awesome piece. We love it. That piece is great. I'm glad you love it. Like I said, I could sell it to five people right now. Not that I'm not asking you to sell it, but just in general, I wish I had a bunch of those. Anyway, this is crazy. All right, November 15th. So you're a Scorpio. You better watch out. <laughs> That's right. I got four planets in Scorpio, so I can eat it. I can tear it up. Be like, oh, you want to see what's like if you piss somebody off? It's got four planets in Scorpio. Let me show what that's like. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm very nice, actually. <laughs> Very, very nice. Unless you get on my bad side, then I'm a jerk. I, I'm trying, <laughs> trying to make myself better. I'm looking at my shadow, being like, come on, mate. Whoa. Oh, shit. November 15th. <laughs> oh, man, we're going to have to have a November party. <laughs> we're totally going to have an. Um, what's the date? What's the, what's the day on November 15th this year? Let me look at my calendar. Is it going to be a. We might have to have a live show just for that. <laughs> Let's see. November 15th is a, is a Monday. A Monday. 14th. We could do, you know what, we'll do the 14th and we'll go into the 15th, uh, except that you're in California, so it won't be the 15th. It's close enough. On the, front, on the 14th, we're going to have a party, all right? So you make it, put it on your calendar. We're going to have a party for all the Scorpios on the 14th of November. We're going to cause all kinds of shit. I'll take out my Scorpio rocks. I've got scorpion rocks that are carvings. I've got Papago carved into scorpion. Can you believe it? It's so cool. (laughs) I've got that. I've got a fire. I've got a fire agate. It's a piece of jewelry. There's a scorpion as well. And I've even got a scorpion made out of old auto parts from this crazy company in Las Vegas. It's pretty cool. So I'll get out all the scorpion stuff and I'll be like, Look at that! Let's have a Scorpio party, everybody. If you're not a Scorpio, you can piss off. Oh, just kidding. No, everybody can come. It's not just about us, but we're going to we're gonna totally just, like, take the cake and eat it, too. Look, this one's got one of them Space Invader, like, pew, pew. it's got the button, like, on the Atari. Pew, 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 pew. It's great. Anyways, this stuff's awesome. It's the best Libyan desert glass I've ever owned is these three pieces here. I had a couple other ones that were good, too, but this was really good. Look at that. You can see my finger behind it. That's just like glass. I mean, it is glass, Rusty. What the heck, man? It's just, it's only glass, but it's not only glass. It's glass from outer space. I think some people say it's not from outer space, but it's really cool. It's got platinum in it. 
it's got osmium and iridium in it. Those are platinum minerals. And that's why it gives it that greenish color. You know, and it's green. Look at the difference. See, this is yellow. And that's green-ish yellow. So it's, it's, it's cool. Those are my big ones. If you're not careful, I'll take out my chimes and sing Kumbaya like I did last week. Or oh, was that Monday? I mean, it's Friday. Was that Friday that happened? I sang, yeah, I sang Kumbaya. Time for the breatharian classes. Yes, I know. We're going to have to save our money. We're going to have to learn to not eat food. There's got to be other ways to save money, too. <laughs> All right, let me find one of these chimes here. I might as well entertain you since we're not doing anything else but entertainment right now. Watch this. All right, so this is a this is a Libyan desert glass angel chime, and this is how I get to singing it. Oh, is that a heart? Oh, I'm going to break your heart. Anyways, this is my Moldavite. I mean, I keep saying that this is Libyan desert glass chime, 77, very special piece. 72777, so many sevens. And this one, this is dragon. This is a dragon skull or fox. You see fox skull? This is long, long, uh, what you call snout. Claim 77, coming out of left field. KMW333, thank you very much. Are you new here? Do I, I don't recognize KM, KMW. I got you on that. Thank you very much, KMW. Send us a private message or direct message so that we have an easy way to communicate with you. And welcome to our show. Have you been here a while lurking in the back or did you just join us? You're new. Did you just pull in like just now? Have you heard all my craziness? Are you just coming now and saying, oh my God, what is happening here? Anyways, no pressure. You don't have to answer. So this is like fox face. It's super cool. Or dragon head. It's only got one eye though. Maybe it's an alligator. It looks like a it's like a muskrat skull mm -hmm. or something. That's what it looks like. Yes, 14. Here, let me show the price on that one first. That one. Awesome. Thank you, KMW333. We appreciate you lurking and thanks for the claim. Um, let's see, fourteen sixty nine, fourteen sixty nine, Thulite. You know what I like about Thulite is it sounds like me. It's a Thulite, <laughs> such a fool. I thought it was UV reactive, but it's not. Oh, shit, I hit mute by accident. All that, I was talking to myself. Sorry about that. Thanks for mentioning it. I hit it by accident when I didn't even know that was there. It's the first time that's ever happened. I was talking to myself. What an idiot. He was I, was, I said all this amazing things that y'all you, you wanted to hear, but I was only talking to myself. And now I feel psycho. I'm like, oh, God, Rusty, what are you doing? All right, Toulouse Lautrec, thank you. I have another chance to sing, to, to whistle your Star Trek, because I did it while I was muted, but I, I couldn't, I did it wrong. And it's good because it was muted, so now you didn't hear me, you didn't hear me butcher it again. All right, let's see, what else? Let's check this, let's check this desert glass here. This one's really good. It's like, dude, you're muted. It's good, we, you finally shut up. <laughs> 
This one is ridiculous. Like it's got all the platinum inside. Osmium 1429. Where is 1429? Is that the one she just claimed? 1429? No, that was 1469. Uh, 1429. Oh, this, you're talking about this one? This is Aho White in quartz. It's just a little bit of Aho White. It's a cabochon. Uh, I cut these because I wanted them to be affordable Aho White. Because Aho White's not super affordable, but this is 40 bucks. And it's got a little bit of Aho White in it. A little bit. It's not bad. It's a big cabochon. If it had a lot, it'd be like 1500 <laughs> If it was like this size, but with this color, it would be 1500 So 40 bucks is not too bad. This one here, check this one out. This one's got Ahoite and Papagoite. It's $75. That's really good because you can actually see it, and it's got both colors. It's got hematite in there too. So that right there is the most affordable Ahoite Papagoite cabochon I've ever sold. Well, I haven't sold it yet, but it's the most affordable one I've ever had for sale. How about that? Thank you. I want to say em Emmy Kalunas. Man, I want to say Emily so bad when I see your name. It's all right. Emmy Kalunas. Emmy Kalunas. I could say it with Italiano. Emmy Kalunas, are you a very good name? Thank you for being here. It's very nice to meet you. Okay, doc. Let's find some chime. Let's find some chime. Find some time to find some chime. And this one here. Oh, it is. It's Emily. So I was good. That's good. I, I so I had it right, Emily. That's good. Oh, that's supposed to chime more than that. What's it doing? There we go. Nice to meet you, Emily Michalunas. That's brilliant. Oh, I see. E Michalunas is perfect. All right, we got. So there's a chime here. It's a little bit. It, it chimey. It's a little bit chimey. That one's fifty six. And it's got here more chimey stuff. This one here, this is, so these thin ones are uh, scraping tools. They were used by ancient people. It's called a flake, probably came off of a bigger piece. They were like, ooh, let's use this glass so we can cut open this goat, <laughs> so we can eat, something like that. And it, this one. <laughs> Man, it's kind of loud. It's kind of funny. It's been going the whole time. Anyways. That one is $45. $45. All righty, what else can we show you? Emily, what would you like to see? Would you like to see something special? Both Emilys. Any Emily. Anyone named Emily. I'm talking to you now. What would you like to see? The Emily crew, you, you've got first right of refusal on anything. <laughs> I've got stuff and things and things and stuff and rocks and tourmalines and amethyst and rhodochrosites and hematites and papaya quartzes and phenakites and ahoites. Any hematite pyrite and fun inclusions? Uh, I don't have any of the inclusions. Uh, you know, let me grab a couple of these pyrites over here. Um, if you want solid hematite crystals, I showed a few of these earlier. These are really good. These aren't inclusions, but this is like super high quality hematite from Kalahari manganese field. Really good crystals. And that one, that one's 30. And look at this one. This one, this one was weird. This is totally looks like Labradorite. This is hematite, but look at how it does this zoning thing. That one is 30. It's super weird. It's kind of like Labradorite. Labradorite. Hematite. 
These are all from South Africa, from the Kalahari manganese field, from the Inchwaning mine. These probably came out of the ground like 10 years ago. That one's 40. Uh -huh. And there's this one. This one is really cool. Fun inclusions. I've shown this one a couple times. They cannot make fake labradorite. I don't know how they would. Yay. The LDG is great. Those big pieces were super. This is a really cool included piece. This is papaya quartz. Claim LDG fox face. Way to go, Sherman. Fox face. That's what I call my dog when he goes crazy and tries to bite me. Fox face. Sweet. Thank you, Sherman. Got you on that. This is Sherman Co. He's got another uh, stone that he bought last week that's on hold. Thank you, Sherman. All right. What's next? Uh, let's see, we got 15 minutes. I'm going to cut short and play some music in like 10 minutes. But I'll show you some... You asked for pyrite and inclusions. And I'll do the inclusions with pyrite. How about that? I've shown this one a couple times, but this is ridiculously good. This is my favorite one. I've got four of these, but this is the clearest one. So this is pyrite. It's a dodecahedron on one side and it's got a flat side with a little nipple type thingy on the other side and the quartz magnifies it it's this big but then when you flip it over it's like watch it get bigger magnify magnify that's a super inclusion right there super I love my magnified pyrite nipples. Yay, me too. <laughs> Anyways, that one is 180. This is super, super cute rock. Mm, oh, I haven't shown this in a while. Here, let's show this one. This one's fun. This one goes out to the water bubble. I like to play with this rock because I get the bubble stuck on one side and then it break it off. It's like cell division. Let me see if I can do it for you. It goes up in there, look, look, and it's like stuck and then I break it off. Oh, look, it's like, I lost my baby. Where are you, mommy? Please come back and find me. Oh, there, look, I found you. It's pretty cool. Look at that. It goes to this little hole there. It's just like bloop. And then you can turn it this way and it break. Oh, it didn't break off that time. It's got all kinds of rainbows in it. And it's got all kinds of iron staining in there. But the rainbows are cool. You see in the middle there, it's like rainbows and rainbows and rainbows. And it's got a little piece of metal in there somewhere that falls i can't remember where but if you play with it enough it'll fall and like you can see it it's got negative crystals in there a bunch of them it's just a good one so i haven't bought in hydros in a while i need to buy some more i had some really good ones last year this is a really good one this is one of the ones i bought last year that i didn't show i had some crazy ones Sold a bunch of good ones. Any Ahoy jewelry tonight? Uh, there's nothing new in Ahoy jewelry, but I don't know. I have new cabochons, but they're not set. And then I think you probably. I think you. 
I posted one as a static post on my page that you might have seen with the hole in it. Um, did I, I might have shown you that privately. I don't remember. Anyways, there's that in Hydro. It's pretty awesome. And I have a jewelry. There's this one. I don't know if I showed you this one or not. It's got a hole there. It's double terminated, self-healed like that. It's really pretty. Mostly native copper, but it's got nice aho white there. It's got some green. And it's got some blue. I had this one cut like 10 or 12 years ago. And it came back to me. <clears throat> so the only cabochon that I have that's really accessible, that's good. Oh, I've got here, I'll show you these. There's some inexpensive ones too. I'll show you these first. There's not, it's not a lot of ahoy in them, but I'll show them anyways. So this is a heart. It's cool. It's got the little ahoy on the side. It's... It's a heart. Who's ever cut an Ahoyite heart before? That's 50 bucks. And this one has only a little bit of color. That one's 40. And then this one is actually really cool. It's got Ahoyite and Papagoite and Hematite. And it's pretty thick. And it's 75. That's pretty good. It's a big piece. I had to cut some inexpensive ones. I had these a long time ago cut. And then I've got stuff like this. And I've got more like this. But they're all 500 to 1500 books. This one's 500 And Actually, I might have a small little guy somewhere. Kind of like a little one like the one you bought in your pendant. I've got one like that somewhere. But no, I don't know if it has as much ahoyed in it. But I do probably have cabochons that are, that are like that size you've got in your pendant, like this size, with medium color in like the $100 range. I feel it's 75 to to $100. We have to do that on a private message because there's stuff in a box somewhere. And that's what I've got for Ahoite pendants and cabochons. That's it. So the other ones, since we're almost done with this live, I'll show you those afterwards. I've got a couple of little cabochons I can show you. Rhonda, thank you for being here. Alrighty. Is there anything else that anyone wants to see before I turn around and play some music because we're going to get kicked off in eight minutes? Because they always stuff me at the end and say, get out of here, you're being a jerk, you need to stop being so stupid and stop playing music or something. The price on the necklace was 800 this one. Just in time for the hand pan, yes. Oh, I missed my camera here. This one, Becca, this one is 800 and it's a really nice piece. I originally sold that for probably more than that 10 years ago. And the woman contacted me and wanted to sell it. So I'm selling it for her. Yep, it's beautiful. Moldavite jewelry. I have some Moldavite jewelry. I don't know if you're talking to me, but you know I have some because I've shown it many times. And there, you've already seen this one too, but I'll show it one more time. Joseph, let me think about that skull for a second. I'll give you a price. So this one, Ahoy, is pretty good. It's got some sprays in there. You can see them. And this one... It's 250. It's the last pendant in silver that I have for now. Thank you, Emily. We try to do flowers every night. The problem is that they're over there and the rocks are here and so you can't see them, but you know, you can kind of see them. I'll make sure to 
Hanover to see them in the future. All right, Joseph, let me see about this skull. This is Larvakite. And it's huge. It weighs like seven or eight pounds or something. And what do I need for this one? Probably should put it on the scale so that I know how much it weighs. The only one it'll fit on. <laughs> oh, I'm going to play some music now. I'll grab the scale. It's probably like seven or eight pounds. Joseph, that skill, that skull. Uh, this one is 400. All right, see, it's time to play. Before they kick me off, you hand me the hand pan. I should make sure I mute myself while I'm playing. <laughs>
right.